All right. Let me make sure the audio is all good because honestly, I've been really messing with settings recently, which I probably should stop doing that. I feel like I always get a good point where I feel like the audio is good on my streams and then I just mess with it and then I mess things up. It happens all the time. Okay. Um, does this sound good? I don't know. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds fine. All right, what's up, everyone? How you doing? How are you all doing today? Oh, I got to tweet out the stream, too. Let's do that. So, yeah. We are playing every zombies map again. We are doing another one of these streams. So if you guys don't know, if you've never seen these streams before, essentially what they are is we're just going through and playing every single map of all time on stream. And obviously I'm trying to do as much of the map as possible. That is obviously soloable because I don't feel like playing with other people on these streams. I like doing them by myself. So that's just what we're gonna do. So unfortunately for some of these maps, we can't do the Easter eggs, but once we get to like Black Ops 3 onward, really, we can do all of them solo. Origins onward, really. We could do them all solo and um, that'll be fun. So um, today we are playing the Black Ops 2 Victus maps. I decided originally I was going to do the streams were going to be exclusively for one Call of Duty. And it was going to be like um, like a full stream playing just Black Ops 2 Zombies. Then the next stream would be Advanced Warfare. Then the next stream would be Black Ops 3. I realized the streams would be way too long. So I decided to split up all the ones going forward. I don't want these streams to be like six plus hours long. So today we are just playing the Victus maps. And then the next stream that we're going to do is going to be Mob of the Dead and Origins. So let's start off with Transit. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. We're going to do Transit. Nuketown. We'll also do the survival maps too today. So not just Transit, Die Rise, and Barry, but we'll also do Nuketown. We'll do Town, Bus Depot, and Farm as well. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. But obviously we can't do any Easter eggs here. I know you can on BL2 Plutonium because there's solo mods, but I don't want to play on PC. I'm not like a PC kind of guy. And um, my stream, my uh, PC is not really built well for streaming through PC anyways. So... I just prefer not to do that, um, which is why I don't really stream custom zombies, even though I want to. It's just my PC right now is not the best. Um, I do need to upgrade it a little bit. But yeah, how y'all doing? But what we're going to do on transit, we're going to get the jet gun and we're going to just have some fun, even though that's very difficult to do on this map. <laughs> it's very difficult to have fun on transit, but we'll try our best. We'll try our best. Uh, where's the other stupid part right here? Yeah, but this map just straight up stinks. I think most people can agree with that. It's a very, uh, very uncommon thing that people genuinely like transit, but there are some people who genuinely like it out there, and I'd love to hear if any of you guys like transit. What's up, AR Nathan? How you doing? But transit love overall just does confuse me, because I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't get the love for this map. I don't know. Not that it has much love, but I'm saying when there is love for it, it always confuses me. I'm like, really? You really think it's that good of a map? We're going to grab the B23R um, just to have it. I'm also going to turn on the song because I believe it's a non-copyrighted song, so I can turn it on. We are going to go for the bank um, once or whenever we get to it because... This is just not a map that's, like, fun to play without the bank. <laughs> I mean, it's not fun to play in, in general, but at least the bank makes it somewhat tolerable. I don't know. Oh dear, the jet gun. Yeah, it's terrible and not worth getting, but just based on what these streams are, the fact that we're going to just go through and play as much of the maps as possible, I do feel like it would be my best interest to do literally everything, and that includes getting the jet gun, even if it's a terrible gun and will not help me at all. Um, but we might as well. I honestly can't even count on my finger, 
Like I can't even I can't even use a full hand to count the amount of times I've actually gotten the jet gun. I don't really get it too often. I kind of forget where the pieces are. I think there's there could be one over here, I think, right? I don't know. We're going to look for the pieces. I know one of them spawns in here somewhere. It's probably one of the worst wonder weapons, not only to get, but also just the weapon itself is terrible. So it's it's just like a double whammy, you know? Not only is it useless, but it's also pretty hard to get. You have to actually do some decent stuff to, 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 to get it. All right, I'm... Not sure where it is. We're going to find it, though. I know it's around here somewhere. That's all I know. Like I said, I've probably only gotten the jet gun like four times total in my entire life because it's just that worthless. I never want to get it. Where is it? I think I completely missed it because... Keep looking over here, because it, it could be over here. Oh my god, the denizens probably hate these fucking things. Oh my god, those are going to be the bane of my existence today, aren't they? Like, it's crazy how bad this map is. Like, it, to me, it's just outstanding. Like, there are so many ways they could have made this map work, and they just, they just didn't. They just straight up didn't. This should be a pretty long stream. Oh yeah, no, we're just gonna do we're just gonna do Victus. So it'll be long, but it won't be. I don't think it's gonna be as long as it would be if we did literally all Black Ops two maps, because then it would be disgustingly long. But yeah, I decided to split up the future streams because doing just um, doing a full game is just I don't know. That worked for Black Ops one because those maps don't have a lot to them. But like, I really want to be able to just sit down and enjoy the maps and take them in. You know? Oh, here we go. I want to be able to take the maps in, enjoy them as much as I can. And if I'm rushing myself, I'm not going to enjoy it as much, you know? You got it. Like, even now, we're just taking our time looking for a goddamn piece for the jet gun. Like, you know, I wouldn't have done that if I had to rush myself. And I feel like for me, doing a stream that's any longer than like five hours is honestly a disservice to myself and to my viewers. Because it's like... It, it always just goes to shit if I'm streaming for that long. I'm just, I get tired, you know, I just don't feel like streaming anymore, you know? So I'd rather keep these streams like under five hours, hopefully. And playing less maps will obviously, you know, help that. Oh no, the bus is leaving. Yeah, we're gonna be, ex we're gonna be using, uh, you know, going ourselves for most of this run. I don't think I honestly have no purpose of going in there. I'm just gonna, just gonna head out to, uh, we gotta get to town. Oh my God. I know there's a shortcut to getting to town, but I honestly forget what path, is it this way or am I crazy? Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, 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 oh! I think it is his way. I could be terribly mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. Because a shortcut to town would help us out a lot right now. I honestly don't remember. Where the hell am I? Oh, that's the church, right? Yeah, okay, no, I, I'm going the right way, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is the right way. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's exactly the way I wanted to go. Um, Transit is really the only beauty map I don't like that much. Yeah, I, I agree. I Even Die Rise, I can kind of stomach. I don't think Die Rise is terrible. All right, got the first piece there. And honestly, I'm going to stay here and use the bank because the bank will help us out a lot here. Only maps I don't like on BO2 are Nuketown, Transit, Die Rise, Farm, and Bus Depot. So like half the damn maps, pretty much. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I don't really like some of those survival maps too. I don't. I don't really count them as like main maps, but like, if we were to count them, yeah, I don't really think they're that good either. I mean, they're okay to play from time to time, but I don't know. They're not. They're not anything too crazy. I've only built the jet gun once on solo. 
Yeah, it's just not worth getting. Like, it's just not worth it at all. I usually tell people that if they've never played this map and they're gonna go play it, like, don't even bother to get the jet gun. It is such a worthless weapon. So worthless. I could stay to get Juggernaug too. I don't have the power on though. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the whole turbine thing to, to get Jug, so. Um, yeah, I'll probably just... Okay, let's just get the bank. Hopefully I have points in there. I think I do, but honestly, I could be wrong. I'm like, pretty sure I have some money in here. Damn, the grenade almost killed me. I don't know how much I have, but that's it. 5,000, really? Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, it'll do for now, I guess. All right, let's go ahead to power. Oh, actually, I want as many points as possible. I should probably get more ammo while I'm here. You know what? I'm going to grab this just for the points. I'm going to grab more ammo on this. Where is it? Right there. Jump up here, and then we're going to head to power. Oh, it's a random ass nuke out here? What? Okay. Cool. <laughs> What's up, Marvel? How you doing? What's your thoughts on Gulf War rumors if you've seen them? Which rumors in particular? Because there's honestly been so many rumors lately. Um, but let me know which ones in particular you're referring to. Because some of them I think sound good, some of them I'm not too crazy about. Like, I'm not crazy about the whole... Um, hold on. Let me get somewhere safe first, because... Actually, I'm gonna get the Bowie knife. The Bowie knife is right over here? Oh my god, dude, the fog is so terrible. Like, <laughs> like it's just so hard to find your way through the fog, man. Oh, here we go. Okay. Most of it's honestly just muscle memory at this point. Like, I just, I kind of remember the direction to go in, so I just kind of, like, head that way. There is a piece in here for the jet gun. Okay, let's grab that. Nice. And then we'll go ahead to power. I'm going to pack a punch, too. Um, so we'll probably do that as well. But yeah, in terms of the rumors, the rumored maps, one of them sounds like it's going to be in, a, like, an on the island with a prison and some sort of laboratories or something. Kind of sounds like Zetsubo no Shima. Um, and then the other one... Hold on, I'm going to fix my webcam because I just realized it's kind of like... Zo it's zoomed in a little too far. And then I want to lower it a little bit. There we go. Okay. Is that better? Now I feel like I'm at an angle. Also, this microphone is like in my face. <laughs> um... So yeah, the one map that sounds like it's kind of like Zetsubo no Shima in a sense, but it's, it's going to be different. I'm sure it's not going to be the same map. I saw some people saying it's going to be a Zetsubo remake. I'm like, no, it's not going to be a Zetsubo remake. Okay, is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Oh, fuck, but I forgot where I was going. Oh, here we are. Okay. Um, so yeah, that map sounds interesting. Hopefully it's got a lot of good atmosphere. Hopefully it's overall just a good map. And then there's the other map that sounds like it's going to be set in a town. I believe it's supposed to be in like West Virginia or something. At least those are the rumors currently. Don't know what to think of that personally, but it could be interesting. And then we got to rem remember to go back for that piece when we're done with this. And then there's a... Um... Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's just those two maps that are currently rumored. Insert tab A into slot B and pound it with a hammer. I'm hopeful for the game. I think above all else, the game will be decent. I don't think it's going to be terrible, be but I, I'm just, I'm, my thing is, I don't think it, it needs to be more than just okay, though. You know what I mean? I think we're at a point with zombies now where it, it needs to be more than just a decent game. It needs to be, like, fantastic. Like, we need the next Black Ops 3, you know? And I don't always say that. Like, I don't think every single Call of Duty has to be this incredible, amazing thing. Like, we can get some years where it's, like, not the best COD. Like, that's fine. 
but like I feel like just where we're at currently, if this next one isn't like one of the best Call of Duties ever, it's it's just gonna hurt the franchise quite a bit, especially for zombies, because we've just been dealing with so many just mediocre games recently, for zombies specifically. Where's this last part? Why am I not finding it? I don't honestly remember. I know it's the hand, but where the f I thought I checked all the locations for it, to be honest. Is it this? Oh, there we go. It was blending in with the, the other zombie parts, you know? Um, that lab is like a flashbang. I know, bro. I hate this lab. One of my least favorite rooms ever. I'm hoping is that small remake, bro. I don't want any remakes. Like, just straight. I'm done with remakes. Like, don't. I don't want any of those anymore. The only maps I'd be okay with seeing reimagined are obviously the Victus maps, Transit, Diarize, and Buried. But even then, like, I don't even want them necessarily. Like, I would be okay with them. I don't really want them. I want new shit, you know? I'm tired of the remakes and the remasters and reimaginings and all that. It's, ugh, so tired of it. We have to stay here for the rest of the round because, unfortunately, with this really terrible Pack-a-Punch system, I can't really do this during the round. I have to wait till there's one zombie left, so... We'll be chilling here for a little bit. Imagine BO3 level maps with mechanics of Cold War, maybe improved mechanics. I do think the mechanics need to be heavily improved. I'm probably in the minority there. I know a lot of people are completely happy with the Cold War mechanics, but I have some issues with them. Um, but if they're able to find a way to make the mechanics work better and also get a um, better HUD, obviously, like a simpler HUD, then I think it'll it'll be good, especially if it can have that BO3 level depth. That'll be awesome. Um. I'm, I'm a little hopeful, but at the same time, I'm also just really skeptical. Alright, we just leave one left. Is there one left? I don't know. They confirmed yesterday it's a Firebase C remake. <laughs> now, how funny would that be? Whoa! Oh, I hate getting double swiped, man. I hate it. The bane of my existence. All right, let's. Oh yeah, you don't fool me. No, 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 no. I know all about it. All about that secret stuff. Don't you look confused, you. How many are left? Two guys, three guys. I think we could do this now. Okay, so we have to run. It's such a, it's such a stupid system. Honestly, it's one of the dumbest. You know, it is the dumbest pack a punch system of all time. So we gotta leave that there and then run as fast as we can away from it, or else the zombies are going to attack it. And the zombies attack it, it just it, it goes bye-bye. Um, let's jump past this guy. No! Oh my god, I thought I was going to miss. <laughs> How fucking funny would that have been? I want zombies in Spaceland 2 Electric Blue. Hell yeah. No, but for real though, they should do that. Like, that would be the smartest thing they can do for uh, Modern Warfare 4. Like, come on. I don't even care if there's any other maps in that game. Just give us one Zombies map and have it be a Zombies in Spaceland sequel. It's funny, Lee Ross made a joke about that the other day too. He made a joke about, I was at the April Fool's Day joke, I think. He said Zombies in Spaceland 2 was coming out or something. But like, it could work so well, it's not even funny, like... It it could be, it would be so successful. Wait, am I going the right way? That's why I hate these goddamn denizens, because sometimes they mess me up to the point where I feel like I start going in the wrong direction. I meant reimaginings, I wouldn't want to copy and paste more like a map, like more like a better map slightly based on it, like Return Spiders and Swamp Vibe, but change the layout and Easter egg. Yeah, well then at that point, I wouldn't even really call it a reimagining. Like at that point, it's basically just a new map, but just with inspiration from Dead Spot. I'd be fine with that, yeah, I agree. I would be fine with the spiders returning, and the overall vibe was definitely a good vibe, so yeah. I'd be fine with that, personally. Please tell me it worked. Fuck, bro, I hate this map! I hate this map! Why does it... <laughs> We're just not gonna pack a punch today, because... 
This map fucking stinks, bro. It stinks. There is no reason why that shouldn't have worked. There's just no reason. I placed it down. There was no zombies left on that round except for like one or two. And I got out of there. How did they still manage to destroy it? That's insane. Insane. Such baloney. I have to go back there anyways, so honestly, it's not a big deal. But it's just kind of annoying. At least we got Jug and Stamina up now. So it should be a lot easier. Infinity Ward needs a redemption arc. They really do. I hope they can get that. I have faith in them. I do. I hope they can do zombies mode too. Like that that'll definitely help them on their, their path to redemption if they they introduce a zombies mode to the next game. But honestly, I'm so curious as to what their multiplayer is going to be like, because after all the criticism of their last game, I, I don't know what they're going to decide to do. It'll be really interesting to see, though. Transit is a rigged map. It really is. Oh, I'm so stupid. I have to go all the way back to... Yeah, I forgot. I got I to go all the way back to, to Bus Depot now. Oh, my God. This map is poop. Oh. I don't need a gun. Any of the love I feel like people have, I swear, it's just nostalgia, man. I swear, it's, it's got to be just nostalgia. Because I'm like, how the fuck? Like, <laughs> I guess the suffering, like, I do have memories suffering on this map, you know? <laughs> there, there can be some memories involved in that, sure. Yes, yeah, so this... We have to go grab a new thingy, so we're gonna go to Noct to get the part from Noct so we can get the jet gun. That's our current goal. Which honestly, finding that can be kind of hard sometimes because the whole corn maze is kind of kind of confusing. This map's loading screen music gave me nightmares as a kid. It was really creepy. I d I did like the vibe of this map. You know, it has a good vibe. It's just shit, though. I like the extinction. I think Ghost 2 would work. I mean, technically, they could do extinction without even doing a Ghost 2 in the, regardless, but I, I, I'd be okay with that, like, if they did another extinction or something. Ghost 2, I don't think will ever happen, but will a game similar to Ghosts happen? Maybe. I could see that, but I could. they'll never do a Call of Duty that's titled... Like Ghosts 2 or something. I'd be shocked if they did. I, I just don't think they will. Um, but the whole idea of like the post apocalyptic thing, and even if they continue the story in some way, like, yeah, that, that could happen. Part of that other thing oh, this is not the part I want. Time. Where is the jet gun piece? Oh, right here. There's just so many parts on this map. Like, the best thing about. Um, like Mob of the Dead onward, other than Buried, is the whole thing that like you get the parts and you just, you know, you can immediately use them. But what completely sucks about this map is the fact that you have to grab each part individually. And like, I can deal with that on Buried because everything's within like a 30 second walking distance anyways. But on this map, when you got to just travel and travel, it's like, oh my God. God, this is terrible. Whose idea was it to have all these separate parts? Like, it's just not fun. Like, having all those parts wouldn't be a big deal if you can carry them all at once, obviously. Where am I? I don't even know. Now, what do you call it when the air is all full of... Alright, we still can't do what we need to do because we still don't have the, um, the thing. The trample steam, not trample steam, the, uh, the, what do you call that thing? The, 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 the thing with the fan on it and the mannequin. What, what, what the hell is it called? I forget what it's called, I don't know. The turbine, the turbine, there you go. 
in this day and age, Spec Ops just ain't worth it. We need more unique modes and different takes on zombies. Like, imagine a more realistic, grounded type of zombies made by Infinity Ward. Yeah, exactly. They can't be doing this Spec Ops bullshit no more. It just doesn't work. Nobody likes it. Okay, there's some people who like it, but most people don't like it. It's just simply because, like, we play these third modes to get away from the rest of the game, right? That's kind of the reason they exist. It's a good way to take a break from everything else. But if you play a third mode and it's just... It just has the same aesthetic, the same feel, the same look as all the other parts of the game. It's just uninteresting to me. I immediately just aren't as... I'm not as interested. You know? They need to do something very different. Let's see, let's see. Insert tab a into I have like no points. Did I just hear the bus? Is it coming here? Because if it's coming here, I might honestly wait for it. And I'll just take that back to Bus Depot. I don't know. I don't want to wait too long. It's probably not. It's probably... Eh, whatever. Let's just... Let's just go ourselves. But yeah, no, I agree. Also, I don't think they're going to do that. But it's a shame the campaign ended on a cliffhanger. Oh, and Transit sucks on solo. Yeah. I think Transit sucks even on co-op. But it's definitely worse on solo. I agree. Um, but yeah, the campaign, it, it did suck that it ended on a cliffhanger. I never really liked Ghost campaign that much, though. So I'm not, like, that interested to see what happens next. But it would be kind of cool to see it. Just... Just to get that storyline finished, you know. Honestly, what they could do is just tie the Ghosts universe into the current Modern Warfare universe. Because technically it would work. They haven't caught up to that year yet. So then they could like... Have the events... I think they, that would work, right? Because then they could have the events of... Um, ghosts happen and then... The Modern Warfare 4 would maybe like combine the ghost characters with the Modern Warfare characters. That could be interesting. They would have to really find a way to do it right. Alright, we got the turbine now. Now let's head to... Uh, actually, we can go the other way. It'll be quicker. Yeah, the other way would be a little quicker. Uh, you can't see Shiz, you really can't. As much as I love MW 2019, MW 2 2022 made me never want to play that W game again. I didn't like either of them, to be honest. They're probably two of my least favorite CODs next to Ghosts. Which is crazy because those are all three Infinity Ward games. But then the one other game they made in between Ghosts and MW 2019, Infinite Warfare, is one of my favorites of all time. Like, I think Infinite Warfare is phenomenal. I think it's one of the best CODs. But yet, all the other recent Infinity Ward games have just not hit the mark. And honestly, it's because they were making a game that was more similar to a Treyarch game. Like, they, for the first time, decided they would make something a bit different. And I, I applaud them for that because it was actually fun and good, you know? All around, all three modes in Infinite Warfare are solid to me. I liked Spec Ops and OG MW3, but I do think they need something new. Yeah. I see, I liked the, those Spec Ops modes back in the day, but I, even nowadays, looking back on it, like, that was never even comparable to Zombies. And I think that's the issue. It's not that Spec Ops is bad. It's that it just doesn't replace Zombies, and it can't replace Zombies. You know? You could honestly do Spec Ops and zombies, it wouldn't be that hard for the developers, probably, because Spec Ops is a very simple mode. I mean, really, when you think about it, Spec Ops missions, what's the difference between Spec Ops missions and, like, just adding more side missions to the campaign? Like, Infinite Warfare had a bunch of side missions, you know? I guess you could say they're not on co-op, but yeah, if as long as they make the side missions co-opable, co-opable, is that a word? Available on co-op, then that, boom, they're Spec Ops now, you know? Like, why does it have to be a whole separate third mode, you know? It, does, it doesn't have to be, really. And then survival mode? That's a... I feel like that's not hard to put together. It's literally on multiplayer maps against pretty much just AI bots. 
Th that shouldn't be that hard to put together. At least I don't think it should be. It's definitely not the same level of zombies, you know? So, like, I think Spec Ops is okay on its own, but it should never be a replacement for zombies to me. And they went so many years in a row with only doing zombies from 2015 to 2019, or I guess 2018. So I was only expecting zombies from then on. So when Mono Warfare 2019 announced they were not having zombies, I was disappointed. I was like, are you kidding me? They're just going to skip zombies this year, really? Oh, I shouldn't have killed that guy. No, I got to keep one zombie alive. Wait, hold on. This might be really dumb of me, but let's hope that works. Oh, no. It's not gonna work. I gotta wait till the end of the round. It's, pro it's probably not gonna work. I don't wanna take the chance. I wanna be certain of my success here, you know? We'll come back. Doing all this just to fucking pack a punch, bro. I there are people who were telling me that the pack a punch process on this on this map is easier than Shadows of Evil. I was like, are you fucking joking? <laughs> How is that even possible? This, this, no, just no. There is no world where this pack-a-punch process is easier than Shadows of Evil. This is without a doubt the worst, most difficult, most annoying pack-a-punch process to ever exist on any map. Ever. Even though it sounds so simple, it's just not simple in practice. It's not. Shit, I'm almost out of ammo. I'm gonna have to knife my way out of this. Wait, you could turn off the power? Why did I not know that? Or was that part of the Easter egg? I, I haven't done this Easter egg in like probably like 10 years, bro. <laughs> I was gonna say 10 years at first. I was like, oh no, it couldn't have been 10 years. But then I just realized, no, yeah, it must have been 10 years because I mean, this map came out 11 years ago. Um, only one. Infinite Warfare Zombies story was more consistent than what we have now. Honestly, true. You know what I did say, though? If they really want to keep this whole connected universe bullshit that they're doing, which I really don't think they should, they could still write an Infinite Warfare sequel, an Infinite Warfare zombie sequel, and have it work with this new story. Because the Infinite Warfare story was literally just some crazy guy who was forcing people into his movies. There, that's not like something that needs to have its own big universe for. You can easily write that into like any universe really right like you can just throw in willard wyler as a character in um where's this part that i'm looking for you can just thro throw willard wyler hold on let me look for this part where is it that's not it oh shit oh it's right here stand back everyone you could you could really just throw willard wyler in that mono for universe and then like just go from there you know like I don't, I don't know have it be so it was set there all along there's no part of that universe where that wouldn't work Ugh, never trust a machine please come this way please come this way nice <clears throat> i feel like mw reboot tried too hard to copy og trilogy how do you from mw 2019 could have been this trilogy's makarov I honestly don't mind the campaigns, uh, except for the Modern Warfare 3's campaign, but I thought Modern Warfare 20's campaign was good. But I, what I hate is the whole connected story stuff that they're trying to do. Like, no, like, come on. Zombies shouldn't be in the same storyline as the campaign. That doesn't make any sense. Um, and then obviously, yeah, they've been kind of doing a shitty job recently, especially with Modern Warfare. Um, Okay, I just need it for those. I need those zombies to come here so the turbine would hopefully stay and they wouldn't destroy it. Um, I hate Mono for twenty nineteen and TDM free for all on, on direct modes. It was all right. I think it was fun. Search and destroy. Every other mode I thought sucked. But yeah, TDM was way worse than anything else in that game. And I remember people got tired of Call of Duty having zombies in every game, but oh boy, we had a good. The thing is, here's the thing. 
I still think that's bullshit because I don't think people were ever tired of having zombies in every game. What they were tired of was not liking the zombies modes. If they liked all of those zombies modes, they would never have complained about having it every year. It's the same thing with like superhero movies and Marvel movies. I keep hearing people saying, oh, we get too many Marvel movies now. You're only saying that because you don't like the Marvel movies that have been coming out. <laughs> of course, if you don't like them, you're going to be like, oh, there's too many of them. But if you like them, you'd be fine with it. You'd be like, oh, bring on more movies. Fuck yeah. Okay. Thankfully, this actually fucking worked. Holy shit. Um, but that's the whole thing. It's like... Now, I personally liked those zombies modes. I thought Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, World War 2, and Black Ops 4 were all fun games. But there's so many people who didn't. And so they went with this idea that we're just getting too much zombies content. And they thought that was the reason they weren't enjoying it. But I just don't... I don't believe that, though. Like, I really do think it was just purely the fact that they just didn't like the modes. And that's it, you know? Build stuff, I would have gone to build stuff school. So I don't think the problem was too much zombies. I think the problem was they just didn't like it, you know? All right, let's pack a punch. Probably just going to pack a bunch of this. I'm probably not going to bother with anything else. Uh, maybe we could stay here to pack a bunch of the B23R, actually. Maybe. Because once you leave this area, it shuts the place down, I think. How long... Does it close the doors immediately when you leave? I don't remember. I, need more I just remember it does close the doors at some point. Oh, what's up, actual doctor? How you doing? Do you think six maps for MW3 Season 3 is because Sledgehammer is focusing on zombies for Season 4? Usually six maps is two seasons worth of content. Um, I think it's because... Actually, I think this is why. I think Sledgehammer was originally supposed to make Call of Duty 2025. That's what the rumors were, that they needed a developer for that. And then recently they also came out, um, they didn't say this officially, but there was rumors that Sledgehammer apparently uh, rejected it. They did. They told Activision, no, we do not want to make COD 2025. And I think they came to an agreement that they wouldn't make that game, and instead Sledgehammer's next game will probably be in 2026 or 2027, which that means it gave Sledgehammer a lot more time to focus on the current game and make more maps for it. I do think that's why they were able to deliver six maps for this recent season. If they were forced to make COD 2025, no way in hell were we going to get six maps. They would probably cut at least half of those. So I, I do think it's because of um, of that, which gives me a little bit of hope for zombies. I feel like if Sledgehammer is working on it now, I think there's a possibility they can give us something decent in, in these next few seasons. And I don't mean the same bullshit we've been getting. No, because... Those Dark Ether Rifts and new schematics is not enough content. That's that's stuff I don't really give a shit about at this point. It's the same, It feels the same every time they add it. They've done it twice so far. I'm not really excited for this third time. I feel like it's going to be just as boring. Um, but I have faith that Sledgehammer will try to do something a bit different. I'm hoping they just give us an onslaught mode or something like that on the multiplayer maps. Maybe so something revolving around zombies that's different than the current mode, essentially. I think if they have the time to do it, they might do it. I really hope they do. I think that'd be cool. Uh, with BO4 ending the multiverse and Activision putting all the CODs in the same HQ, they could honestly pull put all the storylines together. It'll be really goofy if they met Warp in the Dark Ether. I mean, honestly, they, they could at that point, yeah. Here's the thing, though. Um... Uh, actually, interesting you brought that up because I actually wanted to talk about that a little bit. I I feel like they shouldn't do that with zombies, though. Like, I don't really mind bringing back certain storylines for now. I really want them to just stop, though. I want them to stop trying to connect everything and then start going back to doing separate storylines. Especially zombies. Zombies needs to be separate. There's no reason zombies should be in the campaign universe. All it does is it holds them back creatively. And I do believe it is hurting zombies substantially. Uh, it's hurting zombies. It's even hurting campaign to a degree. Because, like, just the idea of zombies existing in the campaign universe makes no sense plot-wise. It just doesn't make sense. Like, you mean to tell me that Soap, Soap, saw fucking zombies. Zombies. He was fighting zombies. And the next thing you know, he's just dealing with a bunch of other crap. And he doesn't... It's never even, like brought up at all like i feel like that's a huge thing i just i don't 
no. And it also makes it so there's certain limitations. They can't do certain things in zombies. Notice how all the maps in zombies, they've been like the same, like, oh, this is outbreak zone. It's a containment zone. They have to cover it up because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. So it kind of limits what they're able to do. And I think personally that's holding the mode back quite a bit. Do we even bother taking the jet gun? What's the point of using the jet gun? There is no point. It's a complete waste of a gun. Complete waste of a gun. Where's mule kick on this? Is there mule kick on this map? I don't remember. I don't I don't think there is mule kick on this map actually. I might have to get rid of the B23R then. That's kind of sad. All right, you know, I want to use the jet gun just a little bit, even though it's complete poop, but let's do it anyways. Literally the worst gun ever. Oh, wait, I forgot the jet gun doesn't use up a slot. I forgot that. You can tell I haven't played Transit in years. I really haven't. I, I completely forgot the jet gun takes up a, uh, or doesn't take up a gun slot. Uh, if MWZ would even just make fortunes keep the map as the bare minimum, I may actually go for bioluminescent. Yeah, I agree. They should have added another map. They just didn't have the time to do it, clearly. Can't blame the devs for it, but you gotta you gotta blame Activision for just being really bad at resource management, you know? I kinda just want them to add like an onslaught mode or something like that, or just round based on multiplayer maps or something simple like that, because I would like to go for the camos as well. But like I just I just don't find camo grinding fun in Modern Warfare Zombies. It's just not fun. Like I've tried it, it's boring as hell for me. I'm so, I get so bored of it in two seconds. So it's just it's just not for me. MW 2018 gave us the worst rendition of Spec Ops. I agree. I, actually, no, MW 2 Spec Ops I think were worse. Well, actually, I don't know because I never played raids. I can't comment on raids. I don't know how fun raids were. I never did those myself because they forced you to use. Uh, they forced you to use uh, three players for it. So I never did it. But the other modes of MW2 Spec Ops, the recent MW2, was terrible. It was some of the worst shit I've ever played in my entire life. There was like some survival mode that only let you go up to six waves. Like, what the hell is the point of a survival mode that only lets you go up to wave six? That's so stupid. Um, and then there was like these really bad missions that were just really poorly put together. But MW 2018 Spec Ops was pretty bad too, though. I mean, yeah, I agree. I got an idea. They sh could just put Infinite Warfare Zombies as a movie, since it has Easter eggs as a comic in DMZ and MWZ. Plus, the map names are basically cheesy movie names. Well, that's that's literally what it was in Infinite Warfare. You're 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 on the ball there. That's literally what the story was. Like each map was a movie. So like Infinite Warfare Zombies, if they really need to connect everything, it would connect just fine with this current universe. Like, there's no reason why it can't. It's a very self-contained story, too. Kill you again. I still haven't used the jet gun. I should probably use it. Enough. Nice to see you still playing zombies. Keep up the American Horror Story and Fallout reactions coming. Keep up the good work on YouTube. Thank you, Gavin. I appreciate it. We need an AW2 from Sledgehammer. I think they're going to do that for the next game. I don't think it's going to be called Advanced Warfare 2, but I think it's going to be very similar to Advanced Warfare. And I think that's going to have slight advanced movement. I don't think it's going to be full advanced movement, though. I, I think they're going to do some, like, really interesting new movement system. Where it's going to be, like, boots on the ground. But then you can wall run. And maybe do, like, a little boost. So you have, if you've ever played uh, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, um, there's this one star card you can get that lets you do this, like, boost. Where you can, like, kind of, like, thrust in the air. I think it's going to do that. So it's not going to be, like, an unlimited thrust i think they'll let you like thrust every now and then sounds dirty what i'm saying but just, just hear me out right so you can kind of like just do like a little boost and then you have to recharge that boost and it'll take like five seconds to recharge so basically it's only good for like boosting up to certain ledges like for example if you want to boost up there you can just boost real quick up there but you can't like spam boost out and about you know i think i think they'll do something like that which i think would be a good middle ground personally it's not too, you know, flying like like it was in the prior games where you're like flying all over the place. But it's also a little bit of advanced movement just to, you know, give people what, what they want with that, you know. And if they really wanted to, they could do a separate mode where it is full advanced movement, you know. 
All right, let's pull out this finally. Oh my God, it's so bad. Even on insta kill, it doesn't work. <laughs> Come on. You can't sprint with it either. You have to like tap it like that or else it'll just break. It broke already. Holy crap. This shit's a joke. It's a joke of a weapon. Where's the other parts? I know what this There's one. I thought all the parts... Did they, did they always drop right next to it like that, though? I thought they didn't. I guess I could be wrong. No mule? Oh, yeah, no mule click on this map. I'd really love if they just cooked up something cool and unhinges a third mode. That's what Infinite War for Zombies felt like, you know? Some, some crazy shit like that. I would love to see something like that again. Raids was pretty fun, but third raid kept crashing on me, so I quit. I saw some people talking about them. I just never got to them because, like I said, it's forcing you to use three players is dumb, in my opinion. I know you can find people online, but like I tried that once before and the people just wouldn't continue. Like they wouldn't keep playing. So like we just couldn't progress because I needed them to, to progress, obviously. Where's that last piece? I don't know. I don't, I don't need to build the jet gun again. The thing's trash. Why bother? I'm gonna go to farm. I didn't go to farm yet. I'm gonna wait for the bus though. How is Activision making more money, but certain modes are getting less and less budget in production? Beats me, honestly. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Damn, I think they, they, they're putting a lot of money towards Warzone, definitely, because Warzone's, like, getting Bullets. a lot of shit. I mean, they've gotten Bullets. three new maps this year. Well, I guess two of them are remakes, but still, you know, three maps in a year is still pretty crazy. They get a lot of modes to a lot of different events. And multiplayer is doing pretty good this year, too, but... I guess they just don't believe that enough money is coming from zombies specifically. So they just don't care to put the money back into zombies, you know? Which is honestly one of the reasons I have been in defense of um, paid DLC. I don't think we should get paid DLC again for DLC maps and zombies. But like, at least that would guarantee us some damn content, you know? Like, they wouldn't be able to drop the mode completely and just not update it we paid for it, you know? What's the point of camo grinding in MWZ when some events give awesome camos? Yeah, I guess that's true. Honestly, it's just kind of like one of those things that's just kind of like fun to do, but like the reward itself is not like that crazy. Nowadays, there's so many good camos out there and bundles and free event camos. It's like, I don't know. The mastery camos just aren't as special anymore. Like, Black Ops 3 Dark Matter was, like, unmatched, but then they started adding a bunch of supply drop camos, and it was like, eh, you know, it's not even the best camo in the game anymore. <laughs> I guess it's more of just the, the idea, you know, like, okay, you earn this camo, so it feels more special to have. You know what? I don't want to wait anymore. I'm just going to go. I want to go to farm. I know it's pretty long delay, but that max ammo was super lucky. Oh, yeah, no, I, that was really lucky. <laughs> There is a long delay, but, um, I know what you're talking about. So basically, tactical TDM from IW. Yeah, for the, oh, you're talking about for the no boots on the ground, or the boots on the ground thing. Um, well, yeah, like, kind of like that, but you also still have some level of boosting, though, you know? So a little bit of wall running, a little bit of boosting. I think that'd be cool. Just not a lot. Just so you, you're kind of finding a middle ground, you know? Actually, I believe BO4 was supposed to be something like that. I'm pretty sure BO4 was supposed to have some advanced movement, but they ended up taking it out last minute. 
which is why some of the maps have wall running on the maps because they were supposed to have some level of advanced movement oh they don't have wall running but they have wall running spots on some of their maps it's just you couldn't watch your wall run in that game they need to either fully commit to exit movement or straight boost in the ground in my opinion and I know a lot of people are probably going to say that and probably think that. And that's a fair opinion, but I personally disagree. I think there is a way to, like, find a mix that works, you know? Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take the bus. Let's, let's take the bus. I really don't feel like running. Location, location. We'll stop at town. We'll drop off all our money at town. We'll go to farm. We spend some time at farm, and then we'll die. And we'll move on to the next map. Because we do not want to play Chandler for much longer. Because this map stinks. The I will say this map's only ever fun when you're on the bus like this and like trying to like defend yourself from those zombies. This could be slightly fun. Uh, this map brings back so many memories of being in my first year of college. Not great memories, but yeah. True, it's memories nonetheless, but yeah, they're not the greatest memories. I, I can agree. If they add full advanced movement, where will the controller players with paddles and scuff be? Controller or kill <laughs> Keyboard and mouse lobbies. Well, I guess keyboard and mouse. And I never really used keyboard and mouse except for playing COD Mobile on PC. Because um, you can play COD Mobile on PC. But, um, I don't know. I'm not sure which, uh, which method is better for advanced movement. I don't know. All right, deposit. Drop it all in there. We need that money for die rise. Let's go, take me to farm. Close. Farmer's like the most useless place. I feel like I never go to farm because it's like, what the fuck's that farm? I like double tap, I guess, but like, what other reasons would I ever go there for? Why are you actually playing the best map of all time? The reason why zombies isn't making money is because they aren't putting good money into the mode in the first place. True. Honestly, they just need to introduce a gobblegum system in the next game where you can just straight up buy, like, earn them in game two, but you can also straight up buy the gobblegums. I know people call that pay to win. Look, I'll take a little bit of pay to win as long as the fucking game is getting the money it deserves or the money. Oh, shit. Grenade or the money it really needs in order to make some decent maps, you know? Oh, holy crap. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, that got a little overwhelming there. Um, I'll take, uh, some pay-to-win shit, even, I don't really call it pay-to-win, it's a PvE mode, I don't know. I'll take that as long as you can earn stuff, you know, for free, too, obviously. And as long as the mode's getting a lot of money in return. Oh, we're dead. Open the door! Oh, shit. Bus! Help me! Help me! Help me! Oh, I still have my perks. I forgot. I forgot about the perma tombstone or whatever. I love perma perks, I will say. One of my favorite things about the Victus maps in this game. Perma perks are pretty cool. I like them because they're not actually permanent, you know? Like, you can lose them. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Take me to the next place! 
You know, it's funny. Raven the Redwoods added 10 map exclusive perks as weapon charms. That's more perks than what any other god can add. Dude, I love the weapon charm system in Raven the Redwoods. The only issue with it is some of them are really annoying to get, but some of them are pretty fun, though, and pretty fun to go for. And also, some of them are useless on solo, too, like some of those charms. I think some of them are exclusively, like, co-op perks, but it's still a cool system, nonetheless. I should probably just keep doing this, actually. I just want to see how IW copes with a troubled dev cycle, as far as I know, with the exception of MW3 2011. They've never had a troubled development. That is true. They've had, um... Yeah, you're, you're basically right, yeah. I guess as far as we know... But yeah, that, I guess that was the only game. I guess Ghosts, I mean, it was after all that mayhem. So maybe they had to... No, nah, yeah, probably just MW3. Yeah, you're right. Hey, I'm glad they were able to give Treyarch an extra year because they finally allowed Treyarch to, to do more with their game, you know? Okay, giving them four years. Now, obviously... They still did have to deal with, you know, the Zombies team being forced to work on Vanguard and MW3, but... Hey, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. I'm gonna hit the box real quick. Boo. I'm gonna get the... Shield, too. I, like, never use a shield on transit. Check it speed cola. No, I'll get, I'll get I'll get double tap. Uh, I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, it's not pay to win. It's just a PVE mode, and that's how the slippery slope always starts. Well, here's the thing. You have to look at it like this. This mode needs to make money. How else are they going to make money if we're not having paid DLC maps, right? And you could say, oh, just cosmetics, right? Are people actually buying cosmetics for zombies? Some people are. Not nearly as much as the amount of money people spend on um, cosmetics and Warzone and multiplayer. And I think that's one of the reasons Zombies just hasn't been putting money, or Activision hasn't been putting money towards Zombies recently. They don't feel like these bundle purchases are coming from people who are playing Zombies. They feel like it's mostly people who are playing the other modes. And so they probably feel like it's just not necessary. Um, and I'll take a system that could get them more money so they can put it back into the damn mode, you know what I mean? Because cosmetics aren't exclusively a zombies thing, you know? Like I said, they could be for the other modes too. But if it's a gobblegum system, that's exclusively for zombies. If people are buying those, if people are paying money for per perkaholics and all that, then it you they know it's coming straight from zombies, which means they also know that, um... They gotta add more good zombie shit or else people aren't gonna be buying that no more, you know? And it could encourage them to maybe not make the game so focused on being all casual friendly because let's say they make the game pretty hard, people might be more encouraged to actually buy some damn gobblegums because they feel like it'll just make the game easier for themselves, you know? I'm okay with that personally. Do I want them to? Like, is that my ideal I, like system of a game? No, of course not. But... If it means we're going to get better content, which I'm not saying it guarantees it, but if it meant we could, I would take it any day of, any day of the week, for sure. Because I'm tired of shitty maps, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm tired of just lackluster zombies content. We need some good shit again, you know? And whatever it takes, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. Because it's just, that's how games work. Like, you're not going to have multiple updates throughout the year unless there's ways for them to make money throughout the year, you know? Like, sure, the game's $70, but any game that's $70 and that's it and there's no, like, let's say, let's say they had no microtransactions in Call of Duty. Zero microtransactions, right? They would never update Call of Duty. They wouldn't, they wouldn't update it. They would just drop the game with the campaign multiplayer zombies and whatever's there on launch is the full game and that's it. 
Maybe it'll be like two zombies maps, whatever. It'll have, you know, 16 multiplayer maps, whatever, campaign, that's fine. You'll never get a new gun. You'll never get a new map added. You'll never get anything throughout the DLC season because they have no reason to if they're not making money back, you know? The devs gotta get paid, so... Yeah, that's just kind of how it works. They need microtransactions to, like, keep the game afloat long-term. Which is why, like, single-player games having microtransactions is always kind of dumb, because it's like... Single-player games aren't meant to be updated multiple times. Most of them aren't. Some of them could be. Maybe you'll add, like, one DLC expansion or two or something like that, but most of the time you're not going to be constantly updating it. But multiplayer games? No, they have to constantly update or else people are going to get bored of it. So... If they want to keep people interested, then yeah, they kind of have to add microtransactions, you know? Uh, crazy to think that maps like Shadows of the Old DE, Garage Crovey are almost a decade old. It is crazy, yeah. I was in uni when BO3 came out and started to play Xbox less and less, but BO3 hooked me back in. Yeah, I was. I think I was a freshman in high school when BO3 came out. Good times. I miss it. The only map I hate on Infinite Warfare is Beasts. Every other map I like or love. I agree. I wouldn't even say I hate Beast. I think Beast is just not good, but I don't think it's like awful. It's just, it's just not good. What's up, David? Hey, how you doing? All right. I let myself die there because I honestly don't want to play this map anymore. I'm going to put this gun in the... I'm going to put that gun in there. Why not? Fuck it. Um, I'm about done. Oh, wait. Hold on. We're going to turn on the song. Let's turn on the song. <laughs> Why not? It's a pretty good song. All right, well, we're gonna move on to the next map because why not? <laughs> Did not want to play Transit for any longer. I was getting sick of it. So what should we do next? Do you think we should do the survival maps and then Die Rise? Or should we do Die Rise Buried and then the survival maps? The survival maps I'm gonna play real fast, by the way. We're not gonna spend too much time on them. We'll probably go through them in the matter of like, I don't know. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it won't be that long. Because what we're going to do, actually, I'll show you right now. We're going to do this. Start around 20. And however far we can get is how far we can get. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Fuck it, let's just, let's just do it. Start with Buzz Depot, we'll go to Farm, then we'll go to Town. And then I guess we'll play Nuketown. But we're going to do this for all three of these. Or actually, no. For Nuketown, we'll start around 10. But with the other three, we're going to start around 20. So this, this might be like a five minute game. I have no idea. It depends how long we can survive. <laughs> I'm going to hit the box as fast as I can. And just, just, just hope for the best. Come on, give me a ray gun. RPD is not bad, but it's also really going to make us slow. What is that? Oh, shit. Well, there you go. This might actually be kind of easy now. <laughs> not that the right gun's that good. It's not a great gun or anything. It's, it's pretty ass for being honest, actually. Better than most guns in the box, though. So. <clears throat> I'm actually really excited to see how... Hold on. Uh, how Defend the House thinks about Infinite War for Zombies. My gut feeling is that they might like it since that mode encourages fun. I agree. I'm excited for that too. They have great videos. I'm just like, to be honest, their videos are like some of the most entertaining zombies content I've ever watched. Like, if any of you haven't watched, go look them up right now. Defend the House, that channel. They make some great new zombies videos. Essentially what they're doing is they're going through every zombies map and playing it for the first time. They've never played zombies before. They're going through and playing them all. And it's really cool to see their like reactions to the maps. And they're actually like doing a lot though. Like I thought they were just going to kind of goof around and play them, whatever. But no, they're taking it pretty seriously. They're going through and doing all the Easter eggs and doing like a good chunk of the side Easter eggs too. Like they've done actually most of the side Easter eggs on all the maps that they've played so far. So it's pretty goddamn cool, I will say. Um, but their reactions to the maps are pretty interesting. Just hearing their thoughts on them. But yeah, if you like zombies videos, go watch go go watch those videos. Trust me, they're good. It's just cool to see other people's like, you know, opinions um, coming from like very new players, like what they think of these maps. Cause it's honestly opened my eyes to kind of change how I feel about certain maps. Like, 
especially from a more casual perspective, because obviously I'm not a casual, so I watch them, they're casuals. I realized that Zetsubo no Shima is honestly an easier and simpler map than Dorizendrak is. Like those, those videos made me realize that. No one would ever say that before, but when I really stopped to think about it after watching their video, I'm like, oh yeah, like Zetsubo is a lot more straightforward when you really think about it. But Dorizendrak, like getting the bows is like, that's a hard thing to do. Like obviously, <laughs> shit. Obviously Pack-a-Punch is really easy, but like the bows on DE, you're not gonna do those unless you have a guide. But they were able to get the KT4 just fine, you know? So I don't know. It's, it's an interesting, it's interesting series. It's all I'll say. They're up to Garad Krovi right now. So they do like one map per month, basically. So it they're gonna take a long time to get through it, but because they put a lot of work into their videos, so it makes sense why it would take so long for them to do it. All right, we're gonna play farm now. I have no intention of playing these survival maps for that long. They're not, they're not very expansive, crazy maps, so who cares, you know? But yeah, I do think they'll like Infinite Warfare. The way they've talked before, they don't care about story like at all. They just wanna have fun and Infinite Warfare provides that perfectly. My only thing is, they don't li they don't list they don't have music on and I think it has something to do with the editing of his videos and I don't know why but they never put their music on for for when they play zombies which to me is not a good thing because to me music is like one of the most important aspects of zombies so playing without the music is like is not a good idea right but that's what they do anyways and infinite warfare is so like the music is the most important aspect of it, you know? So them playing without the music, I, I'm worried they're not gonna like the maps as much because of that. Cause to me, the music on Spaceland is like one of the most important parts of the map. Without without the music, Spaceland's not nearly as good as it is, you know? I need to grab that just yet. Was that a carpenter? They should just make it so you can get Divinium by high rounds. Um, or your mom's credit card and make sure. Make it so you can choose the gobble gums you buy in a perkaholic being like 100 million. Yeah, I, I actually talked about this in a video and my idea was pretty similar to that. But go a little further than that though. Not just high rounds. Like every time you complete an Easter egg, you should get a specific amount. There should be daily and weekly challenges that give you a certain amount of divinium. Like that should be how it is. It, it probably won't be called divinium though. They'll probably call it like Ethereum crystals or something like they did in Cold War. But like the overall idea is just this. All right. Um. <laughs> oh wait, I have quick revive. Never mind. We can keep playing a little longer because I quick revive. Um. The overall idea though would just be like, give us a lot of ways to earn them in game, or you can just buy them if you want to. You know, I think that would work just fine. I know some people would have a problem with it regardless, but like I really couldn't see an issue with that. You know. I don't know why I came back this way after dying over here before. What? Brother. In your opinion, if Trek remastered Transit, what are the small details you would like to be implemented to improve Transit? Small details, bro. It would have to be huge details to make the map work, you know? They would have to completely change it. It wouldn't be a remaster at that point. Like, I don't want them to remaster Transit. I want them to reimagine it, completely change it, like, from the ground up, you know? Um, so, what I would say is, have the map have the same layout, the same general idea, right? Lower the fog, obviously. You can still have some fog, though. I don't mind the fog to a degree. Keep the denizens, but don't make them annoying like they are in this game. 
Don't have them grab onto your face and rip your scalp off. Have them just be normal bosses that just kind of attack you, but they don't grab onto your face like that. They just kind of, you know, there's like any other boss, you know? Have the jet gun, but make it so it doesn't break. Make it vastly, you know, improved. Um, make it so the pack a punch, you unlock it in a different way as well. Um, less lava, less fire. And that's pretty much it. I feel like everything else is like whatever, but those would be like the main changes. Which would be huge, obviously. Those would be completely changed. Oh, the bus too. Make so the bus works a bit different. Perhaps you control when it leaves, maybe. Or maybe you can call the bus, like you can be, like maybe it leaves on its own because it's kind of part of the charm of transit, but you can call the bus. So right now, like let's say I call the bus while, while I'm at farm or something on transit, it would just immediately come to me and maybe within like 10 seconds, like it wouldn't be stopping at other places. That would be cool actually. So you can call the bus whenever, but it could still leave you. You just have to call it and wait a little bit for it to come to you. But it wouldn't take as long as it would for it to just naturally come, you know? What's your favorite map of all time and what's your favorite Easter egg? Uh, favorite map, Zombies in Spaceline Easter egg? It's between like Dreisendrock, Garod, Krovi, and maybe like... I really like Ancient Evil's Easter egg, too. Um, probably one of those. Let me hit the box. That's about a ton of in-game hints and directions that could help you. Exactly. Sadly, Infinite Warfare is a ton of copyright music. Yeah, I know, I understand it for Infinite Warfare because of copyright, but... They turn off the music even on other maps too. Like, most maps don't have copyright music on it. Like, the music in Zombies is not copyrighted. Um, the only time the music is copyrighted is if it's, if it's a Easter egg song from a Ben Sevenfold. But like the background music and round chain, none of that's copyrighted. That's all just normal music. Um, but yeah, no, Infinite Warfare, like I do get that. But you should still experience the map regardless with the music. And I hope they play it separately like once with the music because it's such an important aspect to me. Like, you need the music for that map. Probably shouldn't have killed all the zombies, but whatever. I've been double pack a punching all the weapons in IW, and a lot of them have unique abilities, like a sniper turning into a shotgun. Yeah, there's some really cool weapons in that game. People don't give that shit enough credit. There are so many unique weapons in Infinite Warfare. Absolutely love the weapon arsenal in that game. Also, the weapon variants just make it so much more replayable, too, because there's just so many different variants you can mess around with. And that's what I've been doing, actually. Sometimes I go back every now and then and just grind out some uh, some contracts or... Well, I guess there's the daily and weekly challenges, so every now and then I'll come back to those. And just get some get some salvage, get some supply drops, and then try to get some new variants to use. Because there's some really fun ones. Yeah, I'm glad we died. <laughs> I don't know how people like farm and Buzz Depot. They're just boring maps. Like, I just don't want to play them for more than five minutes without just getting so bored. Town's at least a little more fun. So I'm, I'm gonna let them kill me. Transit doesn't even master. I need to be retcon. Hell yeah. Also for transit, make the bus your safe place. Maybe leave parts on the map where you can upgrade it. Yeah, that'd be cool. You can upgrade the bus. That'd be sick. That'd be really cool. I've been grinding a thousand keys recently. Damn. The sad thing is, when you use those keys, you're probably not going to get anything good. <laughs> the supply drops are so hard to get good shit out of them. Um, but if you rely on this, I really rely on the salvage. I try to get a lot of salvage and then just get variant straight up like that. But 
Yeah, I should do that too, because that'd be fun. Um, all right, let's play town now. I am going to go use the bathroom real quick, because I haven't happened to go for a while, so I'm going to do that. And I'll be right back, and um, we will jump into town, and then we're going to do, after town's going to be nuke town, then we'll do die rise, and then we'll end it off with buried, and then we'll be done for the day. Um, all right, I'll be right back. All right. Uh. All right, let's get to town. Um, starting round 20. Because that is how we're going to play these roadmaps, because uh, there's no point of playing them for like longer than that, if we're being honest. Nuketown will start around 10, though. We'll be fair with Nuketown because I want to play more of Nuketown. All right, let's do the strat. This is this is the this is the town. I used to do this all the time. I would literally just hop on town and do this. You go here, you buy jug, you get the MP5. I don't have time to pack a punch it. What I do is I come here, go over here, grab stamina up, and then I just train over here. This is like my training spot right here. Look at this. This is this is fun. <clears throat> What's your? F Hold on. I want to read that comment, but I gotta like read it while I'm like not got a thousand zombies on me. What's your favorite wonder weapon based on effectiveness, and your favorite wonder weapon based on aesthetics? Mine are the Alistair's Annihilator and the Hand of Gaia, respectively. I'd probably say my favorite. Like in terms of uh, effectiveness, probably the Apothecary Servant, especially uh, especially on Revelations when you can upgrade it. Um, but my favorite aesthetically, the Hand of Gaia is up there for sure. Um, the Hand of Gaia, all the hands honestly are really cool. The Hand of Karen, uh, Sharon, Sharon, the the one with like the the blood where it like drags zombies to hell. That one's really cool. Um. Either that or honestly the fire bow. The fire bow looks amazing. I was gonna try to pack a bunch, but honestly, probably not gonna happen. DE and Garado my favorite too, then Easter eggs were top tier. 
Uh, Mob of the Dead is also great too. Yeah, Mob of the Dead is great. Origins is great too. There's a lot of great maps. Especially during that Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3 time period. Saved up 10k in salvage. Damn! I think currently right now I have like 8k. I was gonna spend it on the um the Cyclopean, the E-Rad Cyclopean, I think it's called. The, the E-Rad that shoots a straight laser beam. I really wanted that one, but I wasn't too sure. I don't know if you know. Do you know? Is that one good in zombies? Hand of Karen. <laughs> I forget how you pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure I've seen people pronounce it just straight up Karen. Um... I wish this map had PhD, because I would so get the Mustang and Sally if it did. What was I saying? Give me double tap. Oh, I was going to ask if the, um, the E-Rad Cyclopean, is that good in zombies? I know it's good in MP, but I have no idea if it's good in zombies or not. <clears throat> so I don't want to buy it with my salvage, unless it was, I knew it was good in zombies. In your opinion, what is the scariest map? For me, it's Mob of the Dead. Arguably more, ar arguably more terrifying than Varrock. Seriously, the meta hanging corpus, the corpse is the blood. Scary zombie design with the red eyes. I don't think any map is like, like a like really terrifying, but I would say Mob of the Dead's, Mob of the Dead's up there for sure. Varrock is definitely up there. Um, even just knocked in general is pretty scary. Uh, the final Reich has some horror to it that I like. It's not like genuinely scary, but it's more like, you know, teetering on being scary. Should we just pack a punch to type 25? Fuck it. And then... Yeah, I'd say those are my, those are my choices. I don't think there's many other maps that are like that scary, really. Oh, I forgot to get Quick Revive. I guess we don't need Quick Revive. If they made another map with four celebrities, like Call versus uh, Slash Mob of the Dead, who would they choose for your celebrities? Mine would be Andrew Lincoln, Keanu Reeves, Josh Brawn, and Melissa McBride. Honestly, I would do a zombies map and just, just do four zombies characters. That would be fucking sick, man. I was hoping they were gonna do that for Modern Warfare 3. I was like, how cool would that be with this Walking Dead crossover if they just give us a round-based map at like the prison or something? And then I'd do something like, you know, Rick Grimes, Daryl, Michonne, and like Carol or Maggie or something. That'd be really cool. Um, but like other celebrities, if they were to do it, I would say... Huh. Who would really work? I think you have to theme it around something, because that, that's to me why um, Mob of the Dead and Call of the Dead worked so well, because Call of the Dead, they took horror actors, right? Primarily actors working in horror and put them together. And then for uh, Mob of the Dead, they took uh, mostly actors who have been in like, you know, mafia related projects. I guess were all of them? I actually don't know if all of them were, but I know some of them were. And then... Um, Shadows of Evil it was a celebrity cast as well. I don't really know if there's any similarities between them, though. Same with Dead of the Night. But I would love to see... Um... I honestly don't know. Off the top of my head, I just can't think of any. The ones you said would be sick, for sure. Obviously, Andrew Lincoln would be fire. Oh, oh, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. That's who I thought of. Remember him from Zombieland? Anybody involved in, like, a zombie movie would be cool. Like, I think that would be awesome. Woody fucking Harrelson. Oh, nice. I don't know if the Cyclone is good. 
Oh, it's the Cyclone, not the Cyclopean. I was called the Cyclopean. <clears throat> I wish they did a crossover. Instead, we got the Walking Dead Destinies. <laughs> if I could cook up a weird setting for a zombies map, or if you could cook up a weird zombies map setting, what would it be? Um... What's the weirdest I can think of? Let me think. I mean, is dinosaurs that weird? I want to see a map with dinosaurs on them. Like, we had dragons before, so I feel like dinosaurs isn't even that far-fetched. Would that be considered weird? I don't know. I just think dinosaurs would be sick. Pirates, maybe? Or fuck, you know what? If they were to do maps that are like based on other franchises, like imagine like a like a a map themed around like like superheroes, for example, and like you, you wouldn't even have to do actual. You can like light, make your own superheroes. Like don't don't worry about like licensing, you know, Marvel or DC or anything like that. No, no. make your own superheroes up, but like have the setting be in like a New York City and have it be all about superheroes, supervillains, and all that. Kind of like what they did in the Black Ops 4's uh, final DLC. Something like that would be kind of crazy for a, for a zombies map. A pirate theme map would be amazing. Oh my god. I'd f fucking love that. That's like my number one. That's probably my top five uh, map ideas that I want to see. But it's got to be like full pirate, you know? Like I'm talking like ahoy mateys and all that shit. Like, you know, it's got to be. Oh, and you could do Jack Sparrow as one of the playable characters. Oh my god, I'd fucking die, bro. That'd be incredible. And the boss fight's a giant kraken. God damn, I'm getting the worst possible things from this box. I want an underwater sea creature. The kraken, man. There you go. Ten years ago, if they made a walk and they crossover, it would have fed families. <laughs> For, for real. I'm glad they did that in Modern Warfare 3, but at the same time, I, w I wish they did more, though. Even if it was just one map, like a... Oh, that'd be so cool. Wait, that grenade never went off. I threw a grenade and it just didn't go off. I don't know. Woody Harrelson is such a great shout, along with Jesse Eisenberg. That'd be great. Honestly, if they ever do a Zombies in Spaceland 2, they gotta take full inspiration from the end of Zombieland. They just go full on Zombieland. Literally have there be like a way to like grab onto a ride and then they like shoot zombies while you're going off the ride, you know? Oh, that'd be so sick. Like that one scene with Woody Harrelson when he grabs onto that. that oh, that, oh. oh, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. By the way, why is the box giving me the worst guns imaginable? Like that. <laughs> That was some of the worst luck I've ever gotten from the box. Jurassic Park map, yep. You don't even have to make it like... Again, you don't have to connect it to Jurassic Park. You can just have it be dinosaurs. And then like, that would be fucking sick. That'd be, that'd be so sick. Oh, it'd be so good. All right, we're going to play Nuketown now. We're not playing Turned. I, I have no interest in playing Turned. Let's do Nuketown. We're gonna start around 10. Yeah, 10 sounds good. Like a Sea of Thieves zombies map? Sure, sounds good to me. The, th the thing is, a pirate themed map would work perfectly, perfectly in a, um, an Infinite War first zombie sequel. Ooh, ray gun. Alright, where'd that Quick Revive drop? I know the Quick Revive is the first one that it drops. We did, oh, there we go. I 
think I turned on my fan too high. <laughs> oh! Honestly, I want to see more maps like Nuketown in the future. Well, okay. This is what I think Modern Warfare 3 should do. So a lot of people were talking about um, do, they wanted Onslaught in Modern Warfare 3, right? And like, yeah, sure, I would take Onslaught as a compromise. Like, it's better than nothing. But honestly, just give us like a map like this where it's just a round-based map on a multiplayer map. Why not? Let's let's see a Rust version of, of this. Like, so do what this did with Nuketown but with rust or something in the next game like or in this in the current game that'd be awesome you know i don't really like nuketown that much but as a just a small little map just for the game to have like i'd much rather grind camos on that map than i would in fucking operation deadbolt you know i mean rust zombies is already a thing in uh custom zombies so why not make it a thing in uh why not make it a thing in real zombies Oh my god, really? Ballistic knife? Completely forgot about Spaceland, that gave me PTSD hearing and I blocked that out of my head, man. Me and my friend spent days doing that Easter egg, one of the hardest ones ever, it was a fun map. It's so interesting too because that Easter egg was really hard the first time you, you do it. But like, once you get director's cut, it ends up being one of the easiest Easter eggs ever. Which is really weird, because it was a hard easter egg, but only for the boss fight really. The stuff before that was easy, but boss fight was pretty hard. But once you beat that, and you get director's cut, and you do all the maps and stuff, it's, it's actually a breeze, you know? Which is why I like that easter egg so much, because it's a, it's a big learning curve there, where it's like, it's pretty hard when you first do it, but you can get good at it, and then it ends up being pretty easy. I'm gonna go buy some of the other doors to their house. I got a cool Infinite Warfare Zombies map name. Uh, zombies from Outer Space. That sounds pretty fucking sick. Do like a map on Mars or something. Call it that. I want a Jetsons kind of zombies map. That'd be sick. Yeah. Type 25 again. I don't want to use it anymore to be honest, but... Box was not giving me anything else, so I uh, had to take it. Ooh, ooh. double points. Oh. Okay. Let's. Actually, I don't really. I'm not really in, like any desperate need for pack a punch right now. Or, I mean, any other points, or any other perks, I mean. So, we'll just, yeah, we'll just chill like this. I might pack a punch the ray gun, though. Not now, though, we'll wait. If you get the DSR again, please keep that, I love that gun. <laughs> Alright, you know, may maybe just for you I'll keep it if I get it. Custom maps I've seen people play in the past are spectacular. One of the maps I remember called Dead Ship. Yep, Dead Ship was cool. Dead Ship's a cool map with the sea creature at the end. There's so many good custom maps. I might do a video on the top 50 best custom maps. The only issue is, is like, it would take me a long time to go through and get gameplay on 50 different maps. I've definitely played more than like 100 maps at this point on Custom Zombies. Um, there's a lot of good ones out there, to be honest. So it'd be a fun video because it would at least show people, like, let's say they're a new new custom zombies player, show them what maps are good and bad. Because there's not many videos out there ranking custom maps. I can say for certainty, though, the best map is Nightmare. If you if you played Nightmare, you know what I'm talking about. That map is phenomenal. Easily the best custom map. Oh, oh, just for you. Just for you. Who wanted this again? D-Jack? Here, here you go. Just for you, I'm gonna- I mean, I'm even gonna pack a punch it, just for you. Just for you! Dead specimen reactor. 
I know you can pack a bunch of more than once and get the um the no scope, right? Oh my god, I'm terrible with these. Damn! We should probably get speed cola. Oh God. Oh shit. I found a way to cheese the boss fight. I just used the reverse shotgun with the smart shot sight. Yup, that makes it really easy. It's also harder on co-op too. I think it's one of the Easter eggs that is a lot easier solo. Only Easter egg we can never complete was attack the radioactive thing. That's, it's, it's definitely the hardest Easter egg in that game. So <laughs> definitely um, not surprised because it's a hard one. It's a fun one to learn, though. I think a lot of people, honestly, like, I get why people don't like the Easter egg. I don't think it's great, but it's fun to learn. So I don't really, I don't really hate it. <clears throat> IW campaign was on Mars for a part, so it wouldn't even have to have zombies in outer space. True. Infinite Warfare's campaign is so fucking good. Very few Treyarch level custom maps. Yeah, well, it depends, because I've played a lot that are, like, I don't want to say Treyarch level, but they're definitely, like, video game trip, like, they're, they're definitely video game level. Like, I could see an actual, like, video game studio developing this, you know? There's a lot like that. Obviously, a lot of the maps, they're using Treyarch assets anyways, but there's a lot of great ones. Um, like, Nightmare is fully... Treyarch level like I, I would a hundred percent I could see a Call of Duty studio making that and it really depends because in terms of graphics they look amazing but my PC and a lot of other people's PCs can't really handle some of the graphics so we have to lower the graphic settings a little bit and then it makes it not look as good but there are some maps that I've seen in other gameplay of it, like on people's like good PCs it looks stellar like better than Black Ops 3 does by default so I don't know Depends. Map design wise, yeah, sometimes they do miss the Treyarch mark a little bit, but sometimes it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty up there. I would say it is Treyarch quality, so it just depends. But even then, like, there's just random people around the world making these maps. Even if they're, even, even just being close to Treyarch quality, I would say is insane, you know? Ever seen Nightmare? I have to check that one out, man. Yeah, it's so good. It doesn't play like a normal zombies map, though. I'll say that much. And I'm always one to say that, oh, round-based zombies is the best, which I still believe that. This map is not round-based, though, but it's phenomenal. It plays more like a Resident Evil game, and it takes about, like, an hour, maybe at most two hours to beat. So it's kind of like a full, like, experience, like a story experience. You go through this this big house and you have to complete little puzzles and stuff but they're really easy to figure out you don't have to look up a guide or anything you can definitely figure it out on your own and it ends in a really cool boss fight so it's definitely not a typical zombies map but it's i think the best experience you're gonna get on custom zombies what Hold on. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I know what happened. I think someone else signed me out because I do share this account with some other people sometimes, but I think they might have gone on while I'm on. <laughs> And I don't want to, I mean, no, uh, I'll just, uh, yeah, it's not going to let me sign back in. 
We're gonna have to play a local. <laughs> We're gonna have to play fucking local. Wait, is that what happened? Yeah, we might have to play local because I'm not sure why it's not working. I don't know why I did that. Whatever. Let's um try again, I guess. <laughs> I want to play more of Nuketown, so this time we'll start around 20. Because we already played a little bit of it. I don't know why I did that. I was I was just I was just texting him too because I was like, oh, did you sign me out? But no, he didn't, so I don't know. I guess the thing just gave up on life. I don't know. Oh well. What was I saying? I was talking about Nightmare, right? The map? Yeah, it's a great map. That's all I really gotta say. Great map. <laughs> That's the extent of it. Definitely worth checking out. Come on. Oh, come on. Give me any. Give me the M27 or something. That is on M27. <clears throat> a tier list of custom maps would be class. I could imagine that taking absolutely ages to make. It probably wouldn't be a tier list. I'd probably just do like a normal ranking. I like tier lists sometimes, but other times I don't. I feel like when you're ranking custom apps, I feel like that's got to be like a normal ranking because there's just so many out there. So I probably I probably wouldn't do a tier list for that. Whoa. I'm surprised we got the ray gun again. Oh, shit. Ah! Personally, I can't wait for that Fallout map. Yeah, that looked amazing. There's some so many maps coming out that look incredible. It's hard to find time to put the dedication in sometimes when the map comes out. Came out, I was working part-time as well. Yeah, no, that, the, the thing about zombies is a lot of the maps do take a lot of time to really learn. But I do like that because it, it gives me more reasons to keep going back to it. Like, I there's some maps I still haven't um fully done every side quest i've done all the easter eggs but there's some side quests i haven't done i haven't done all the ghosts and skulls quests on infinite warfare for example and i'd love to go back and do them so um let's do the same thing starting around 20. but like it's cool just going back to a game that's what like seven eight years old now and i can still go back and just kind of learn new things like to me that's fun and i feel like cold war kind of missed the mark on that where everything was so simple that there's really nothing to learn and you just kind of like you get what you get and you kind of just you just play from I don't know it's just everything's just there if that makes any sense like there's no there's no reason for me to go back to Cold War and learn more stuff because there's just not enough to it that's kind of my biggest issue with that game if we're being honest okay we got the DSR back we're gonna die though. <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> We're getting the worst guns possible. We are definitely gonna die. Ah! It's the kill. Ah! What the hell is that gonna do for me? A max ammo right now? And we're dead. Maybe I should just get a wall gun. Oh god. Fuck, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Activision Trek should do a Mojang, Bethesda, or Valve and hire some of these custom map makers. Hell yes, they should. There's so many custom map makers that should be hired. Oh yeah, when I was a teenager, yeah, there was way more time to play, for sure. I mean, if I didn't make content on Zombies, I wouldn't play it as much. Like, just straight up. Like, I would be forced to play it not nearly as much, because I wouldn't be able to put 
time. Like, I'm able to put so much more time into it because I'm making content, which is why I like making content on it so much because it, it gives me more of a reason to play them as much as I do. Like, I would never sit here, you know, doing all this stuff in zombies as much as I do if I wasn't making content off it, you know? Not saying there's anything wrong with doing that. I just wouldn't have the time for it. Like, I, I would want to, but I'd be like, well, shit, I'm not going to have the time for that. But I feel like I can kind of like... I can justify spending the time because I know I'm going to make a video off of it, you know? Oh, I'm not playing this anymore. <laughs> We're not gonna. We're not gonna go far. We're probably, let's, let's just let's move on to die rise and buried and call it a day. All right. <laughs> Dude, I, I need to figure out what's wrong with me because there's this. Every time I stream, and if you've seen any of my other streams, you probably heard me complain about this before. I don't know what it is, but my nose, it's. Oh, I believe me when I say this, it never itches. Otherwise, my nose is not an itchy nose. I, I'm not, I'm, I don't get itches, right? Only when I'm streaming, my nose itches like a motherfucker. Only when I'm streaming. It's never any other time of the day, ever. And I'm trying to decipher, like, why is that the case? I, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it either, because it's so, it's so annoying. I personally think it's probably a combination of the room being very hot and also talking a lot. I think talking a lot activates some kind of something in your nose that makes it itch. Because it's like right here. It's like I have to keep doing that or else it's just it's just like crazy. I don't know how to fix it, though. I think this part may be more important at this particular time. Forgot the door was 750. I thought it was 500 for some reason. Come on. This, component is clearly part of some this map is definitely better than Transit, but it's got its issues. In other places. What do you guys think about Die Rise? I want to hear some Die Rise opinions. It's a very interesting map. Um, any other parts out here? No. This component is clearly part of something else. What exactly? Come on, zombie. I think this part may be more important at this particular time. I will keep this to hand in case an appropriate use presents itself. Um, and one more part, right? Where is the other part? Up here. They're all in the spawn. That like rarely happens. Silicofire is fun, but map is mid. I kind of agree. Silicofire is definitely the best part of it. I don't think it's like the worst map, but it's pretty low. Which piece was more important at this juncture? You think I can make this landing? I might just, I might just wait for the elevator, actually. Because I don't feel like trying to make that jump. Oh, curse my limited capacity for item conveyance! It would help my decision if I knew which piece was more important at this juncture. All right, there we go. Best way to build the uh, tra trample steam. Die Rise is interesting to say the least. I haven't played it, but I've seen a bunch of content on it, and it seems better than Transit. It's definitely better than Transit, but it, it still has its issues. Though. I will keep this to hand in case. It's got the same issue with all the parts. Itself. You can't hold multiple parts at a time, so it's kind of annoying going back and forth with parts. 
It's not as many parts though, so it's not like as big of a deal, but it can be a little annoying. Um, and then just overall just getting on the map, I don't know. Not the best map for that. I usually put one of these here and just fling up there, but... Um, that's honestly the only use for that. <laughs> I might go back the other way, because I kind of want to go to where the bank is. Have you seen the game Silent Breath on Steam? No, I have not. It does sound creepy, though. I'm just waiting for this elevator. I think that's the worst part about the map, is waiting for the elevator. Which is very similar to waiting for the bus, but it's just as annoying. IW probably has the best starting pistol. Not only is there variance for it, but if you double pap, it doesn't deal self damage. I would have to agree. Yeah, I think out of all starting pistols, it's probably the best. The Mauser's really good too. I like the Mauser, but I think, yeah, you're probably right. The Kendall's, Kendall 44 4s are probably the best um, starting pistol in Zombies history. I also like the. Um, what is it? It's not really a starting pistol because I know they. It kind of is a starting pistol, so the... I forget what it's called. Some sort of pistol in World War II. It's not the M1911, it's like the other one. But it's so good when Pack-a-Punched. It's, it's, it's insanely good. But you could start with different starting pistols in that game. Obviously, if you count, like, you know, Cold War, it just doesn't count anymore because, you know, you could start with anything you want. But in terms of starting weapons, like, before they introduced loadouts, I would say, yeah. It's between probably the Kendalls and... That one from World War II. As well as the Mauser. So much waiting on this map. Alright. Actually, you know what? I really don't need to keep that zombie alive. Wait, actually, isn't the um 74 you gonna be in here? Oh, it's pack a punch too. A situation where oh shit, I forgot about that. That that thing. stays pack a punch. <laughs> it's out of ammo though, but it is pack a punched. This is going to make things a lot easier. Uh, World War II also has... Yep, that's what I was talking about. The M1911, it's pretty good in that game. It's not like... I don't think it's as good as the Kendall's, but I think the um, the other pistol... I forget what it's called. It's it's it's, it's not the Walther. It's something. Uh, it, it looks... I can't even explain it, like describe what it is, but it's a really good pistol. What?! Wait, explain to me how I died there. I had Chug, didn't I? Move away now. Let's like what? Wait, and why couldn't I buy more Jug? What? I don't get that. That's insane, okay. I can create functional circuit boards from even the most basic. It's fucking round two, bro. Like, what the fuck was that bullshit? <laughs> oh, Black Ops 2 is the king of Oh no Of unfair downs So grab this At least we can build this like a fire right now POA Oh it's the POA Okay That probably is the um The one I'm talking about Um, funny enough, you can get the candles from the mystery wheel. Never seen a starter pistol in the box. That is true. Yeah, I do like that a lot. That that makes it um, because if you like trade it out, or obviously the maps where you can't start with the candles, you can actually still get it. You know, that was always annoying though, because I always wanted to get the candles on Beast from Beyond and um Rave, but like you had to. Hope that you would get some. Um, you have to hope you get them from the box, which 
one of my only negatives of Infinite Warfare, I do think the box is kind of terrible. Because, like, yeah, there's a lot of cool guns in it, but holy shit, like, trying to get the gun you want is so hard. <laughs> there's so many guns in that mystery box, and, like, they didn't, like, adjust it properly to make it so, like, you'll eventually get the, the one. Like, you, you can hit the box, like, ten times and get, like, the same gun, like, four times. I, I had that happen before. It's insane. Um... And also, like, the, the teddy bear pops up way too frequently. Yeah, honestly, we can just end the round. There's really no reason to not end the round. I watched the Rad Brad play it earlier. It's got 4-3 camera screen. Oh, they're talking about that game, Silent Breath. That sounds fun. Maybe I'll try it out. Sup, Pablo? Just watched the Fallout reaction. Loved it. So excited to see you react to that. Thank you. Watching from Uruguay. I think I think I mispronounced. I know I know how to pronounce the country, but I, I can never say it properly. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, okay. I'm gonna wait for Jug. Oh fuck, Jug's down there. Actually, I'm gonna just. Yeah, we'll just go up. We'll grab Jug on the way. Um, we'll wait for it to come up, and then I I guess we'll go back for quick revive. Oh, actually, I really want the Galva Knuckles, too. We don't have enough for it, so we might just get the Bowie Knife for now. The Bowie Knife's right behind Double Tab. Yep, let's grab this. There we go. Hopefully we can get enough for Jug in the next, what, like, 30 seconds we, pro we probably have. Come on. Yeah, wait, it's not even giving me an option to buy Jug. Wait, I'm confused. I know I don't have enough points, but it would still give me the option. It thinks I still have Jug. I think my game glitched out, and it, it thinks I still have Jug because I died, like, right when I bought it. I think the game glitched out. That's not good. Can we just not get Jug the rest of this game? That's not going to be good. Unless we do have Jug, and it just doesn't show it on the, the HUD. Maybe that's it? I don't know. I guess it probably thinks I still have Jug, and I hope I still do. I don't know. Plus, Director's Cut having the Pack-a-Punch version of all the weapons and what weapons in the Mystery Wheel. Yep, fucking love Director's Cut. Easily one of the best things about that game. Actually, I would say that is the best thing about that game. Just the fact that you can do all the Easter eggs and get a really cool reward like that. to assist my companions more effectively should i choose might wait for so? double tap too as well i want to get four perks so then we can get some more perks through the uh you know I, I think i have jug i think the game's just glitched which is really stupid but whatever if you try it out good luck is all i'm gonna say I'll see you later, D Jack. I appreciate you checking out the stream. Die Rise is trash, you know, Lucas. I I kind I don't I don't think it's trash, but I do think it's pretty mid. I, I think it's just very it's mediocre. It's a it's an average map. Doesn't have much special about it, but I don't think it's that bad though. You know, kissing is really oh, I forgot they don't have stamina up on this map. I gotta get speed call then. Yeah, so I really can't get jugged then, right? Let me try again. Are you fucking kidding me? No more carrying capacity for ammunition. Ooh, that is a good thing. Let's try it, let's try it. Yeah, look! I can't get it! Physically can't get jug. What? Yeah, my game is fully glitched. That's great. That is just wonderful. I got punches down there.
Don't we love a map that glitches? We love it. We're definitely going to spend the most time on Buried. After after we are finished Die Rise, I'm going to spend the most amount of time I possibly can on Buried. Because Buried is genuinely a really great map. That's the only map today we're playing that's genuinely really solid. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Treyarch's take on High Rise. Yeah. I do think the map was kind of clever, though. The, the map name was clever. Honestly, Treyarch kind of nails map names. There's only very few map names that I think were, like, stupid. Most map names are solid. Oh, a mine is a terrible thing to waste. Fortunately, you didn't have one. Gather voices. Indubitably, I now have the opportunity to accumulate great gobs of points. What do you guys think of like the worst map name they've ever done? I don't know. Like just a map name that just sounds so stupid to you. I feel like there's not many like that. Like I don't know, the most of the map names are fine. All right, we got to just only kill with our melee weapon. No shooting. Ow. Just so you know, so is Rusty. Give me. So we should still have Jug, right? Does it make sense that I sense a sense of The game is, like I said, glitched, so I think we have Jug currently. But I could be very wrong. I have no idea. Yeah, so we're not getting Jug. I, I think we do still have Jug. I think we do. Very weird glitch. But at least people who join the stream and, and don't hear me talk about it, they might think that they might think that I'm just going no Jug challenge or some shit. Obviously, that ain't the case, but, you know, it might look like that. There's really no point in hitting the box. I feel like I'm fine with these guns for now. Uh, not able to get Jug is definitely a skill issue. Oh, what's up, Rowdy? How you doing? For skin is a tough map name. It's got some pros and cons to it. Game's still going good for you. It's going all right. Except for me just having absolutely no idea if I have Jug or not right now. It's funny, it's like the opposite of the Dury's World of War glitch. The Dury's World, World of War glitch is um where you, you lose Jug, but you still have the, on your eye you still have the perk on your um your screen. But this is like I think I lost I still have the perk. But like it's just not on my screen anymore. At least I think I do. Again, I, I can't tell. And I don't want to test it out, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out if we get hit a couple times and don't go don't don't go down. I shall engage in a killing spree. You know how much better Die Rise would be if it had some grapple hooks? Imagine you can grapple across there. Like imagine getting a piece of equipment. And just going like, bzz, and just grappling across. How fucking cool would that be? I'm pretty sure you can make this jump though, or at least that jump. There's some jump you can make over here that's like a crazy jump. I'm not gonna try it, but I know you can. I saw your tweet early, man. Uh, tweet earlier. Oh yeah, that guy. Oh, I, I didn't see your DM, but I'll check. I'll check. Take a look later. But yeah, that, that's. I don't know. Some people are just something else. I don't know. I try not to engage with it too much, but I was like, I just wanted to spot that one because I was like, come on. Like, come on. Like, like, it's over a video game. Like, come on. Like, I know those people. They would never say that shit in real life. They wouldn't because they're, they're online. They, they just say it online because it's like, oh, they're behind the screen. So, but it's just like, you have to realize the things you say have consequences. Like, like, I don't know if his personal information was attached to that page, but if it was like, he could like 
lose his job over some, saying something like that, you know? Like, I'm not gonna do that. I have no intention of going and finding his workplace to get him fired. I don't... I'm not gonna go that far, but let's say they did see that tweet or something and they knew it was connected to him, like, you know, you get trouble for that shit. So, I don't know. Alright. I might get the A94, actually. Replace it with this. Uh, let's go. Let's also let's get the Galvan Knuckles, too. Because the Galvan Knuckles are pretty sick. Isn't this like the camping spot, like right here? You just kind of like do this. I don't know. I for Maybe don't touch me to begin with. I guess we didn't have Jug actually. <laughs> I guess we didn't have Jug. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Dude, was it really bugged that badly that I couldn't even get Jug? This game is cooked. Oh my god. No! No! What is wrong with this game? <laughs> And it said I still had Jug too. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> All right, we'll go again. We're obviously not gonna. We need a better game of Die Rise. That was terrible. Are you fucking joking, though? Oh my god, man. That was garbage. I'm gonna use the bathroom first, though. But holy shit, are you kidding me? I'm, 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 I'm pissed. I'm a little pissed. Um, all right. I, I will read all those comments real soon. I gotta, I gotta use the bathroom. All right, hold on. That pissed me off, though. That really, that really pissed me off. I have came back. <clears throat> Let me just make sure this loud fan isn't here. Like, can you guys hear the loud fan in my room? I want to make sure you guys can't hear it. It's, it's pretty damn loud. Let me see. Think so. Yeah, so we're not getting jug. I, I think we do still have jug. I think we do. Very weird glitch. But at least people who join the stream. Yeah, it sounds fine. I don't know. 
I'm always worried about how my sound is on these streams, but I think it's okay. Uh, Terminal Dicta is such a cool map name translating to Cursed Earth. Shamed its waste on a horrible map. Yeah, that is a cool name. I, th I think most map names are cool. Yeah, no, I honestly shouldn't reply to that guy. I feel like giving people like that attention is a bad idea, but yeah, whatever. Um, only one piece in here, I think. One part. These fucking Mojang tiles give me PTSD. Oh, I got to, forgot to get rid of this. Be right back thing. But those Mojang tiles, man, they give me PTSD. Doing this damn Easter egg. Hate to see Easter egg. What? Again? Bro, I'm, what do you mean sign and status change? It's just putting me offline? For what reason? I don't know. I mean, good thing it happened in the beginning of the game and it didn't happen. We might have to just play local, honestly. The only thing about local is we won't have the bank. But uh, fuck the bank. I don't care. Whatever. We're just not going to get the bank. We're playing local. <laughs> we ain't going to get the... Oh, you can't get perma perks either. Oh, that kind of hurts. Do we risk it? It, it, it didn't happen for a good hour. We're going to risk it. I really want perma perks. You don't get perma perks on local, right? Fuck it. Let's risk it. Bug it. Dude, we're getting bad luck today. Like, whether it's just bad RNG in games or just stuff like that where it kicks us out of the lobby. I don't know. It's all really stupid, though. Love that be right back. Xbox, Xbox 360 nostalgia. It's really cool too because this is on Xbox Series X. That's, I love the expert, uh, Xbox compatibility, um, backwards compatibility thing because you can literally just play 360 on your Xbox Series X. Like it's so cool. Any other parts up here? No? I think I'd better hang on to this. Huh. This looks like a little piece of something. Sometimes two hands just ain't enough. All right, come on. Get them down there. Come on. There we go. Sometimes two hands just ain't enough. And where's the last piece? Probably over here. Yeah. Can't hear anything in the background. You're all good. All right, nice. Good to hear. Yeah, that's the one thing I think xbox destroys playstation and not to get into the whole console wars i have no interest in console wars i don't care which console is better or worse like i personally prefer xbox but i um i don't really care if people like playstation more but i will say if we're just like just speaking about the consoles in terms of like what they offer and stuff i do think that um xbox one did a much better job or xbox in general with the backwards compatibility and overall supporting old games, like especially with Game Pass and stuff. I know PlayStation has a kind of a Game Pass type system now, but um, I don't know, Game Pass is kind of just unmatched with how many old games you can get on it and how much they're supporting old games. And even Call of Duty, they're going back and like updating the old games and stuff on Xbox, which is really cool. And I think they just do it. They've done a better job with com a backwards compatibility. I don't think you can play PS3 games on PS5. I could be wrong. Maybe you can, but I haven't seen that. Maybe you guys let me know in the comments if that is, if all PS3 games, not just like, like, you know, select few, but 
can you play almost all of them you know because like xbox 360 you can almost play all of them on xbox one and series x which is crazy um i think playstation's better just in general stability though i feel like i feel like i've had less major issues with playstation in terms of you know just general stability Like a little piece of I definitely prefer the same. Xbox controller, though. I hate the PlayStation <laughs> controller. I'm not a PlayStation controller fan. Not at all. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for all causes to come to Game Pass. Dude, Don't I want it like so luck. badly. Yeah, because the, the servers are going to get boosted. There's going to be so many more people online. So you could find a multiplayer lobbies so much easier on all the CODs. You can probably get them on other modes other than just TDM2. And another reason I, I'm excited for is because my friends, some of them are actually going to play some of the Call of Duties that they said they would never buy. But if it's going to be fucking free, practically free, because I mean, Game Pass is basically free for being real, because you you, what, you you pay for one month and then you can play unlimited games worth pretty much. So Game Pass is really cool. Um, oh, don't you even think about shit. It. Did not mean to finish that guy off. Well, I could jump down there and then go that would take me to power but it would take a while to get there i think this way would be easier which is the wait for it i hope they bring the dlc to the i don't think they'll do that because i don't think they've done that for any other games but having the dlc be part of the game pass 2 would be insane or at least discount the dlc price or something like that you know Cause I would love if we can get some multiplayer lobbies where like you can actually get DLC maps. That'd be, that'd be so sick. Come on, evil voices, throw us a bone. That grenade did no damage. What the fuck? Oh, man, there we go. Pretty, but it sure was sweet. <laughs> pretty sure you can, but not fully sure. Actually, pretty sure you can't play PS3 games on PS5. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I'm not 100% sure. They do have a Game Pass counterpart, yeah. I, I do have it, or I did have it. I don't think I have it anymore, but I had it for a little bit when I had played... Uh, I think I got it for Miles Morales to play that game. Um, but... it I don't... I don't recall whether the deals were better or worse. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. They're still, they both exist. I think Game Pass in general is just a good idea, you know? Goal 4 is most likely coming day one to Game Pass, so people don't want to buy the next, so people don't want to buy the game, that's a great choice. So if people don't want to buy the game, that's um, Yeah, I agree. I think it will be coming. I actually, I don't know. I don't know if I need it to come to Game Pass day one. I would be perfectly fine with it. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh! There was nothing I could do there. There was, there was nothing I could do there. There was nothing I could do there. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing I could do there. Guess I owe you one. All right, let's do this, and then let's just get the hell out of here. Um, I don't... I kind of don't know if it should come Game Pass Day 1. I kind of want them to... So definitely all the previous Call of Duty's, COD 4 to, to, you know, current day, most, maybe current day, I'm not sure exactly if I need to be current day or not, but at the very least, yeah, it should be, um, yeah, we should get a lot of the CODs on Game Pass, right? But the current one, I would be okay with it being like a six month thing, like the first six months you have to buy it, but then, then after six months, it'll be free, you know what I mean? I wouldn't mind that only because like I'm going to I'm going to want the special edition anyways. I'm, I play Call to be a bunch, you know, and I don't know. I'm not really opposed to it either way. I guess that's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, I wouldn't be mad if it wasn't Game Pass day one, but I also wouldn't be mad Seems if it fit, wasn't, you know, as long as I wiggle it a little. I just I think my worry is that they're going to lose money. You know what I mean? Like, will they lose money putting it Game Pass Day 1? Because if they were to lose money, then maybe that's not a good thing. Because if they lose money, then there's going to be less budget put back into the game. And as fans, we don't want that. So I guess that's my thing. It's a Microsoft IP now, and they put all their games on Game Pass Day 1. Yeah, 
But Call of Duty is like a really special thing where it's also the best selling game every year. So like, I don't know, is Microsoft going to want to like, like, I think they'd be completely fine with just being like, oh yeah, we'll bring it to Game Pass in a couple months. But like, if you want it right away, you have to pay for it. That would not only still incentivize Game Pass sales because eventually people will just want Game Pass for that. But it will still also convince a lot of people to still get the game regardless, even if they already own Game Pass. Like so I don't know. Sure don't look like one, though. I'm not really sure. Because even just bringing all the Call of Duty games is still huge. Like, that'll still blow everyone away because it's still, there's so many CODs that a lot of people have never purchased. I know a lot of people who they haven't gotten the past, like, five COD games. And being able to just have all those for free right away, like, it's not technically for free, I know, but, like, it's basically for free if you already had Game Pass regardless. That's huge, you know? But they better keep them always on Game Pass. Don't do... Jesus, don't do that bullshit where, like, they're on Game Pass for, like, a year and then they go away or something. That'd be annoying. Yep, I agree. Backwards compatibility is incredible. It is their moneymaker, but what I'm saying is they might be thinking, and I'm not sure if this is going to happen or not, but like, could they possibly make more? Because they're always going to do what will make them more money, right? That is what they want, more money. And if they can manage to still have their Game Pass with the Call of Duty going, still incentivize a lot of people to buy Game Pass just based on the fact that all the old Call of Duty's are going to be there, but still put, you know, still hold off maybe like a couple months before putting it on Game Pass just to incentivize more sales because if it's still their IP, they're going to get money from the sales regardless, you know? Like, I don't know if that would end up making them more money in the long run because a lot of people who buy COD day one, they probably have Game Pass already. They're probably big gamers. They probably own Game Pass anyways. And so they are losing money for every single person who had Game Pass anyways, regardless of this Call of Duty thing. And we're going to get Call of Duty anyways, too. Like me, for example, they would be losing $70 from me because I already own Game Pass. I own it every month anyways. And I would have purchased a new Call of Duty regardless of if it's on Game Pass or not. So they technically are losing $70 from me. And I, there's probably a lot of people like me, too. So I just I don't know what their idea would be about. Is it beneficial for them to... Um, still do it you know what i mean i don't know if you know what i mean but I, I, like that's the best way to explain it i guess yeah playstation has better exclusives so i, I bought a playstation 5 for the exclusives too but i pretty much play xbox for everything else you know you'll still have to pay for gold 4 on steam and playstation that's true that's true yeah i guess there's also the money they'll make from those consoles um and they probably make up the majority because Xbox is probably less than half um, when it comes to full COD players, but I guess that's true. We'll see. I have no idea what they're going to do. Most of the money is, but I think they still make a large chunk of it is still this, the yearly sales. I'm pretty sure yearly sales are like, I forget, I forget what it was. There's just a percentage of it. It might be half and half, actually. I feel like I remember seeing somewhere where it's almost half and half. Like, pretty much half of it is their yearly revenue from game sales, and the other half is microtransactions. I could be wrong, though. I remember seeing that somewhere, at least for one of the years for COD. Oh, that's gonna stain the but I, I could be wrong. I honestly don't know. I want to go up. Yeah, this map layout is kind of terrible when you really think about it. Like, the fact that I have to go so far just to get to one side of the map that really isn't that far away. But it just, it's just in the way this map works, it technically is really far away. Shit like that is just so stupid. Oh yeah, the majority is definitely on PlayStation for sure, um, because it was a PlayStation, like they got exclusive stuff for the past how many years, and I think PlayStation also sold more consoles too, so that does make sense. Uh. 
I wonder if that's going to change in the next like five to ten years, though. Especially with Game Pass and stuff. That would be interesting if that changed. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, I got so scared that the thing was going to move while I was in there. I don't know why I thought it was moving. Where's the zombie? Come here. Jug's over there. I gotta get the points first, though. Hopefully this time I don't fucking lose Jug through a glitch. I think more people are moving over to PC. Yeah. There's a big chunk of PC people now. A lot of people are able to, like, I guess... They're, they're, they're um... What's the word? PC Call of Duty was really bad before because there was really low player counts all the time, so nobody wanted to bother. But now that there's crossplay, a lot of people are more convinced to play on PC because it's you know they're fine, and people love keyboard and mousing. They love um, a lot of other games on Steam that they can play, and probably has more games than console does really. There's obviously mod tools for games like BO3 too. a weird map layout i love how the map looks though like the skybox is great that's all pretty cool yeah i guess we'll just get the free perk here i i, I always want to have four perks before these guys come but whatever you can't really do much about it let's just hope we don't get who's who from this Nice! Double tap, perfect. I would've taken double tap versus B cola would've been fine. Actually, honestly, anything but... Um... Anything but who's who would've been fine. So, so many fucking doors, oh my god. This map's like door heaven. I wish you could upgrade this local fire. I feel like that was one of the biggest misses on this map, was not being able to upgrade it. Hate to step in to shoot those little balls with the SVU. That's the big move. I honestly really do think transits and um. Hang on to this. I really do think transit and diorites have some of the worst Easter eggs of all time in zombies. Cause like A, they're not fun to do, and B, they're really short. So like A, they're, they're already not like they don't have anything to them that like I would say are like worth doing, you know. They're just very boring, very bland. By the way, I have two huge zombies videos in the pipeline, but neither of them will probably come out for another couple months. Like, it'll be a long time before I can do both of these videos. So don't expect them anytime soon. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because I kind of want it to be like a surprise thing. I'm also slightly worried that I'll, <laughs> I'll say what the videos are going to be and then someone else is going to do the video before me because it is a, something that no one's ever done before. And I kind of want it to be like that special thing. Even though I, I don't really care about like, there's actually pretty common conversation in the COD Zombies community recently. I don't know if you guys have been seeing it, but people like accusing others of like stealing like ideas and stuff, but like... I feel like a lot of times the ideas are not like they're general things that like anyone could do. It's not like I don't really personally I don't care. Like you can do any videos I do. I'm not gonna like 
it, who cares? You know, most of the time I don't create the topic, right? But I do think it is kind of special to have like a do a video that's like the you know the first time that's ever been uploaded type of video. And it's specifically related to zombies, and um, so I want to save it for you know I'll just upload it when I do, and then you guys will just see it. But no one's ever done it before. That's all I'm gonna say. No one's done either of these videos before. They're both rankings of some sort, but they are rankings that nobody's done before, and it's it's not something stupid. Like it genuinely could make for really interesting two videos. They would just be really long, and it's gonna take a long time to actually make it work. Because what I'm ranking, there's a lot of it. So yeah, I need to um, I need some time, obviously. Whether it's getting gameplay or making the video itself, it's probably going to be a while. I honestly might not even get it out till like right before Goal 4 releases, to be honest. Maybe even after Goal 4. Fuck, maybe I'll just include Goal 4 in, in the video. I don't know. Don't you even think about it. All right, let's go get the AN94 now. And we'll get Speed Cola, I guess. What's up, Jay Knight? How you doing? It disappoints me that from World of War to BO2, the majority of the round change music is the same. Yeah, back then they didn't really care to change that. They were like, whatever, we're satisfied with this. But I'm glad Mob of the Dead decided, like, fuck it. Let's start doing some crazy stuff with these zombies maps and having them be, like, completely different experiences. Which is why I applaud um, this game so much. I do not want to buy who's who. Who's who's just going to go down there, though? I forget. Where does that other one go to? I honestly forget. I might just wait for it to come back up because I want to get speed cola. Yeah, okay. We'll wait for this to come up. Dude, this like, I, I can't like this is so much more satisfying than all the crap they have in nowadays with the HUD like I, I hate the damage point numbers hit I, I don't mind hit markers but I also don't li li like them too much I hate the text pop up when you kill a zombie like to me this is so much more satisfying just looking at a zombie like this and just lighting them up seeing the blood pouring out of them seeing the points on the, the side of your screen next to your, your points like go up like that is so much more satisfying, in my opinion, than all the crap they have now with all the shit on your screen. And so that's the thing, like in this next game, right? They're obviously going to, um, right now the rumors are that they're gonna have a customizable HUD feature, which is good. That's apparently a rumor going around, right? Hopefully that's a true thing. But if they don't like replace that with something else, then it's just not gonna work. Like you can't just remove health bars and then not like add another way to tell the zombies are deteriorating in health. Actually, that's not true because the previous game, the previous game they have that. But in terms of like um, points, for example, when they pop up on your screen, I don't want to just remove that. I want to move it to where they used to be in these old games, you know? That's what I want to do. So like, I'm sure the game's gonna have the option to remove it, but I want more options than just that, you know? And you can't have stuff like a mini map where it's like, let's say there's a step where you need to use the mini map for something. That that can't happen either, or else to me that's just, you know, the ability to remove it. Like, why would I remove it if I need it, you know? Even though I hate how it looks. Same with health bars. I was trying to talk about it before, but like, um, the health bars on Firebase Z, you kind of need them for that one mimic step. I don't want health bars on, but if you kind of need them for a step, then you kind of have to keep them on, right? Yo, what's up, Derpy? How you doing? Wait, already this round again? Okay. Shit. There's only six perks, perks on this map, right? So I guess we'll just, um... I'll we'll do this two more times, then.
I will say, I kind of prefer this over perk limits. Or no perk limits. Like, I like having a perk limit and then having a way to get more than four. To me, that's, it's just more rewarding. I don't know. Like, if I could just buy the next five, the next two perks, it's, I don't know. It's more, it's more interesting when you have to do some cool thing to earn it like this, you know? I think Origins did a great job with that with the dig sites. <laughs> Poor guy. Stood no chance. Ooh, Galil. Unfortunately, it's our mule kick gun, but fuck it. I'm going to sleep now. Uh, it's midnight here in the UK and I have work in the morning. All right, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you checking out the stream. You enjoy, you enjoy your night. Petista, am I saying the name right? Petista. All right, I gotta get the Galvan Uncles now, and then, then we're gonna go for the A94. We'll go pack a punch, and we'll be good to go. No fucking around this time, though. Right, last time I was fucking around too much. Oh, bro, come on! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, no! 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 I gotta get the hell out of here, bro. But I can't because of the goddamn slippery ass floor. There we go. Oof. Alright. Let's get the A94. Boom! I do love this part of the map. This area looks so cool. It is a cool map. Like, the fact that it's an upside-down building, like, that is some crazy interesting shit. But, like, the map itself just doesn't... It just doesn't flow well at all. But it is an interesting map. It's very interesting. Name is Pedro Batista. Ah, oh, okay. Just shorten it for YouTube name. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. Remember, you have to reload before I get the max ammo. This, there will never be a day where I don't cherish the fond memories I have with BO2. I agree, man. I agree. I was always a hard ass, though. I would be like, no, nah, I'm not going to reload. Like, a, <laughs> I don't need the extra bullets. I'll kill him with less. The Galil is so good. I'm glad they kept the Galil as a really good gun in this game, because uh, they could have obviously they could have brought it over and made it trash, but no, they made sure to give this thing all the love it deserves. Damn, they're just jumping right off. Oh shit! Right, let's go find Pack a Punch. I think Pac-Punch is right there, actually, but we'll, we'll get it once at the top. It's a lot easier to just fire at the top. I've got one of the greatest names in the world. It is a fucking good name, bro. Batista. Is it pronounced the same way as, like, Dave Batista? What's up, Ewan? How you doing? Ewan. No, it's Ewan, right? It's not Ewan. I don't know. Dark Rise is a bad net map. Not gonna lie, I agree. I I don't I don't disagree there. I actually think it's oh actually no okay. I think it's mediocre. I'm not, I'm not gonna call it bad, but I'm not gonna also like disagree with you because like I feel like it's pretty fair to think that. But I feel like it's just it's mediocre. It's it's teetering on the level of being bad, but it's not quite there yet for me. But I think I think it's just mediocre. You touch it. You I'm pretty sure Pack a Bunch is right over here. Boom. 
Come on, pack a punch. <clears throat> I think the worst part of Die Rise is mainly just the vertical aspect. It doesn't work out as intended, and it's very clunky. And it's quite bland, except for the rooftops. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think it could work if they had like, let's say they have like zip lines going from building to building or something. Like just better ways to traverse. Maybe zip lines you don't unlock right away. Maybe you have to do something to unlock them. Like that'd be pretty cool. So like at first, traveling around the map is pretty hard. But you can like get, you can do something to make it so the traveling is easier, you know? To me, that would fix the map or at least fix a big part of it. Do hickey can't do. Ah, get low on ammo! All right. Nice pack a punched A ninety four. This thing's awesome. All right, man. I'll see you. I'll see you, Pedro. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. The way my name is pronounced is how people pronounce Ewan McGregor's name. Okay, so Ewan, right? Then okay, I think I got it right. I also just think the random perk spawns this map are the worst. I, I agree, I think random perk spawns are always bad. Um, it's not as bad on some maps, but like, it's kind of annoying. Like, I don't know, like Shangri-La, for example, it's like, what's the point? Like, I, I like when perks have very specific locations because you kind of get attached to that location. Like, think of like Duriz, like where Juggernaut is on Duriz. Like, that's a very iconic Juggernaut location. But when it's able to change up every map, it loses that iconic feel, you know? I think having some perks switch is, is fine, but it's, it's just, I think it becomes a problem when it's like, you know. When it's, uh, like all the perks. Well, it's all the perks except for Quick Revive, I guess. I don't even want to get who's who, honestly, like... <laughs> I probably just won't even bother the next, uh, round, because who's who's a terrible perk. This is a really easy map, though. It's honestly one of the easier maps. Not much, not much to do on the map though, to be honest. Because I'm not doing the Easter eggs until we get to the um the solo maps. So because you can't do this Easter egg solo on console, ain't much I can do right now. I don't know about you, but I think Buried is overrated. It's a good map, but not as good as people say it is. Um, I I think it's pretty good, but I do think there's some issues like you can't do the Easter egg solo, for example. That's a big issue for me. But, yeah, I don't know. I have fun with it. I think it's a pretty fun map. Are you family friendly? I'm going to say no. Um, I, I, I don't tend to adhere to family friendly rules on my videos and streams. So I would probably avoid them if you need to, you know, have them be fit. You know what I mean? Because I do curse a lot, you know. I'm, I'm not going to be, like, intentionally vulgar. Like, I'm not going to be talking about, like, a bunch of, you know, gross things. But, like, I, I, I do curse a decent amount. So, um, that if that is considered not family-friendly, then, yeah, I'm probably not family-friendly. I mean, I, I, like, I just, I usually treat what I'm playing or watching as a means of how I'm going to talk and act. Like, if I'm watching an R-rated movie... I'm not going to bother with family friendliness because it's an R-rated movie. You know, I'm playing an M-rated game. There's no point of bothering, right? I'm assuming most people watching this are in a position where they don't... They're not going to, you know, they're not going to have a problem with, with cursing and stuff like that. But then again, I feel like I never really play any other games in <laughs> M-rated stuff. So I don't know. I guess I just don't, I don't really make a point of it. I don't know. I, I made it pretty clear to YouTube my videos are not for kids. I uh, 
there's even a, a setting on YouTube to title them for kids or not for kids, and I made it very clear these videos are not for kids. Um, so, yeah, I would say I'm probably not family friendly, no. It depends on the family, though. You know, if you're all, you know, <laughs> older, you know, then, yeah, sure, but not, not, not really for kids, no, probably not. I know, I know kids are going to watch the videos anyways, but, you know, what can you do about that? I can't really do nothing about that. I just, my thing is the reason I never want to do, like, family friendly is because it wouldn't really be me then, you know? Like, I feel like I do curse a lot naturally. Like, it's just kind of part of my reactions to things. Like, if I'm forcing myself not to, it wouldn't really feel like me. And then the videos wouldn't really be authentic. Obviously, I'm not cursing every sentence or anything like that, but like, you know, if something happens, I go down or something, I might get a little pissed. I might, I might throw an F-bomb here or there, you know, I, I might do that. But I'm not like spewing out, you know, curse words every two sentences, you know, nothing like that. Transit Remastered better have an item called the bus pass. I still agree that it would be pretty sick to make the bus stop and go whenever you want. I think they should do that too. I think by default, it should move on its own, but there should be a way to be able to control it where it goes. That would be cool. I think Buried is really good, but it's not much as a challenge. Yeah, it's a very easy map. Quite easy to get everything you need. Yep, that is true. The Easter egg can be a little challenging, though. It's it's a decent Easter egg. It's not great. I don't love it, but it's, it's all right. It's in my top 10 favorite maps, though. I think the aesthetics of the map and just the overall sandbox feel of it is kind of what makes it be one of the best, but that's just me. I think IW is the first zombies game with useful melee weapons probably yeah you're, you're definitely right on that all the other melee weapons yeah they're just replacing your knife and i mean they're not like useful and to much higher rounds i guess the thunder fist on origins was probably the best up until that point but but yeah you're right though that's the first game where the melee weapons are like crazy good I absolutely love the um, katana, the uh, the nunchucks. Those are fun as hell. The chainsaw, the golden spork. The golden spork is cool too. Um, and then they also put it on Blood of the Dead. Yeah. I will say one of the biggest missed opportunities of nine was to not have a bunch of really cool gladiator melee weapons. Like they even had gladiator melee weapons in the trailer for nine, and then the map had like nothing. That to me is one of the biggest missed potentials of the map. How cool would it be if you can get like a, a gladiator like axe, like a battle axe or something, and you can just go to go to ham on zombies with it? Stuff like that. That map should have done a little more melee weapons. If any map's gonna have a lot of melee weapons, it should have been nine for sure. You know, honestly, <laughs> is there really anything else to do on this map? I'm trying to think, like, well, what could I possibly do on this map? I can jump back and forth on this thing. Whoa! Oh, we're gonna go on who's who. Wait, what? We're not gonna go on who's who? We're just gonna die and then that's it? All right, shit. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I ain't even mad. I want to play buried. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of die rise. Let's go, let's, let's go play buried. A much better map that's actually like top ten worthy. I might go use the bathroom again though. I've been using the bathroom a lot because I've been drinking a lot of water. Excited to play Buried, though. Because Buried's actually solid. All right, but I'll be right back because, uh, yeah, like I said, the bathroom is calling my name. All right. <clears throat>
All right, let's get it started. Um, <clears throat> best BO2 map and my favorite map ever. Maybe overrated or an unpopular opinion, but it's Mob of the Dead. I have nearly no flaws with it. Origins is still my favorite, but Mob of the Dead is, is phenomenal. It's definitely second best. That's more than a hole in the ground. Which we will be That's playing Mob of the Dead and Origins on um the next stream. So the next stream we're gonna do Mob of the Dead and Origins. That'll be fun because we're gonna do the Origins Easter egg and there's tons of side Easter eggs on both of those maps too. Those will be fun to do. We're just gonna jump right down because that's usually what I do on this map. Definitely wanna play the song. It's got one of the best Easter egg songs in Zombies history. The soundtrack on this map in general is fire. Such a fire soundtrack. <clears throat> Don't know if helping the others matters that much to me. Oh, how does a sweet little place like this come to get buried underground? Do I have PhD? No, I don't. Shit. We're gonna have to do this oh. to get PhD. <laughs> Such a weird way to get PhD, but. Oh well. We are playing Xbox Live, right? Because otherwise, doing all this is gonna mean nothing. I always hated doing this. There, there should be an easier way to get it. Whatever, we'll go back to it later. Oh, check out the huge dude. Bo three has melee weapons, but they weren't that special. Yeah, no, because they they just they they just feel like any other melee weapons, and they're they're not. The problem is they can only hit one zombie at a time, and if you can only hit one zombie at a time, it's not gonna be that good. My favorite one weapon is the Kung Fu from Shallon. The Kung Fu shit was cool. I'm not a lot of people consider those wonder weapons. I, I kind of would consider them wonder weapons, but I don't know. It's hard to say. But yeah, those are really cool. For sure. What's the best wonder weapon of all time? Probably the Apothic and Servant. Whoa, we got this on first hit. That's crazy. Um, Probably the Apothic and Servant's the best one. I would say the Chrysalax from... Like, if we're talking just purely on effectiveness, not talking about, like, how fun they are to use or anything like that. The Chris Lacks from Cold War is up there, but Cold War is also just a really easy game. So, like, naturally, of course, you know, the Wonder Woman is going to be great if the game itself is just very easy to begin with. Oh, there we go. But, yeah, the Chris Lacks is really good. Unlimited ammo. You can just destroy zombies with that thing. But I think the Apothic and Servant for me probably is the, the number one. Because, like, it's just, it's a, sa it's a save your ass weapon, you know? It's great on high rounds, but it also just saves your ass. Like, you can't die with the Apothic and Servant. As long as you, like, use the, the right gobble gums and stuff and you, like, use your ammo properly, like, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be chilling. Alright, let's go. I don't think I have any money in the bank, so we can't rely on the bank this game. <laughs> I'll take it. No bank for us. Even though I ain't even thirsty. All you did was give me an excuse. Oh, please miss. Oh, he's gonna miss, isn't he? Oh, he's gonna miss. I didn't line him up properly. No. Oh no, he's good. He's good. He's good. Nice. Nice. You love to see it. You love to see it. The lightning bow on Darius and Draco is amazing too. Yeah, that's up there. That thing saves your ass too. And it's got more ammo. And maybe that's the best one actually. I don't know. It's going to be really fun to play those maps when we get to them on the live streams. Because like I said, I want to really do like a bunch of different side quests too, not just the main easter egg. It'll be... It'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. I could really use a different gun right now. Because although this is a good gun and all, Wonder Weapon obviously is not what I want to use right now. It's not really going to give me points. Joy 
My favorite map is either Ancient Evil or Spaceland. Those are two fantastic choices for maps. Oh, actually, shit. Wait, I don't want to get rid of this because... Oh, I shouldn't have hit the box. I want to use the Mustang and Sally. No, why did I get rid of it? Oh, but I wanted to use these two because you can get free perks from this with a little side easter egg. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Whatever. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have no choice. Whatever. I don't have to use Mustang and Sally. It's just really good on this map. Mustang and Sally's are phenomenal. Let's go, bud. Leroy is still one of the coolest map mechanics ever. Let's grab Jug, and then we're gonna grab some booze. I should probably grab the uh, the thing to make him stay in place, so he doesn't go running around. Or the the box, so the box stays in place. I need I need to grab candy for that, and then bring him to the box. It's candy, right? I think it's candy that does that, or is it booze? I thought it was candy. Maybe someone else has a sweet tooth. Let's try it. Is it candy or booze? I forget. To make him keep the box where it is. Did you hear the apprent the appearance of Jeffrey Grimes in season three? Oh, I heard about that, bro. I hope not. <laughs> That shit sounds so dumb. I don't know. I, heard, I don't know why people were talking about that. I don't know if that's actually like a real rumor or if it's just some like crazy shit someone made up. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is candy. Okay. It's a really useful thing to keep the box in place. It's so useful. We can't wait to throw anything. We don't have anything in the bank. I know. I don't think it's a real rumor. I'm pretty sure people are just kind of like, I don't know. Now this here's a puzzle. There's I think some someone made like a theory or something, and it's become this whole thing. But I'm. No, I lost PhD from doing that. Well, I wasn't gonna use the Mustang and Sally anyways, so whatever. Oh well, maybe we'll get it next game if we play again. I don't know. I really need to get Mule Kick. Is there really no booze in here? <laughs> Behind scene picture of two kids. Oh yeah, no, because I'm sure Rick does have a brother. He's never talked about him, but I'm sure he does. But like, I don't think that means he's gonna show up in the fucking Daryl Dixon show. <laughs> I don't know. It just I, there'd be no point of doing that. There it'd just be no point. Like, sure, could it make sense? But like, it just sounds I don't know. It just sounds stupid to me. I'm just like, what? Like, it would be nothing more than a little laugh, and then that's it. And then I'd be like, okay, well, there's no, there's no meaning to it. Like that character means nothing to us. You know? It would purely be there just for a little laugh, and then it'd be like, all right, that's it. I technically don't even need Leroy to go here because I could just jump over it with the Paralyzer, but I wanted to break it for the points. Kind of hard to do that when there's a million zombies on me, though. Actually, doing this on double points would be great. I just have to properly line it up. 
Come on. Come on, Leroy. Over here. No! Leroy, go fuck yourself! <laughs> this piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, big boy. Alright, never mind. You know, I'm just gonna... I, I ain't dealing with that boy no more. Um, Jeffrey Grimes. No! Wait, oh, I still have Jock. Okay, never mind. We're good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought the glitch came back. I was gonna get so pissed. But we're good. We're good. I love traveling with with that thing. It's, this map has got such a fun, like, just feel to it. I don't know. Don't know if helping others matters that much to me. I lost the booze. I guess you. I didn't know you drop the booze when you go down. I never knew that. I mean, sure, it's definitely possible. But like, I just, I don't, I just think it'll be stupid. That's all I'm saying. Like, they could do it, and I'll probably just be like, whatever. But I'm also gonna sit there and be like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But if he wants to do it, go for it. I don't care. It, it would just. I just, I don't know. Yeah, that spinoff thing was, it was just a joke thing, but still, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, if they do it, sure, whatever, but I'm also going to sit there and be like, this is really dumb. <laughs> I'm going to get speed cola. Oh, dude, the music is so good on this map. So good. All right, Leroy, come this way. Is the door only 750? How much is this door? I thought it was 1250. Yeah, it's 1250. All right, I'll wait a little. I'm trying to do the free perk easter egg if you guys don't realize what I'm doing. That's why I'm keeping the blood ballistic knives because you can do the free perk easter egg with this. Well, I guess it's a 10 point perk easter egg. I just, technically not a free perk, but whatever. Damn, bro's got hops. Where's this last zombie at? I think he's glitched, because I don't... There we go. There's been drama about Ricochet banning cheaters. Yeah, I've been hearing about that, but if you're a cheater, you deserve to get banned. I don't fucker. <laughs> What's your opinion on the unlock tools being part of the band? Oh yeah, no, I I agree with that. Like they, they should get banned. Look, they're using unlock tools. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's just just don't use them. Like it's just pretty simple solution. Just don't use them. Because here's the thing. It really is, there's, they're essentially, they're basically stealing. Like, the unlock tools wasn't just for in-game content, it was also for bundles, apparently. So like, that is basically just stealing, straight up, you know? So like, I'm not surprised they got banned for it. Like, I think a, an in-game glitch, like like the Liquid Divinium glitches and stuff, I think that shouldn't be a bannable thing because that's well, a glitch in-game. But using an external thing that is b hacking into the game, that to me is when it becomes bannable because it's like, okay, you're literally hacking the game now. You're not just doing a glitch, you're literally hacking the game.
You know, it's gonna be really hard to get through with the... Oh, actually, I don't need to keep this weapon, actually. Because I could just shoot this. Watch this. I could shoot this, and I could grab... Maybe an A94? I need to make sure I have enough points, though, because if I don't have enough points, we're fucked. Again, trying to do the free perk thing. I'm really trying to see how I can do this quick and effectively. Okay, I got an idea. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this now. We're gonna trade out this ballistic knife for something else. Okay, we're good. So make it a hurry up. We're gonna get the A94. Cause that'll help us kill all the ghost ladies. We don't, we don't, we need to make sure we can do this without her taking away any, um, taking away any points. Oh shit, wait, I didn't think about, I had to buy this door, no! We gotta make enough points real quick, come on. Come on, give me points. Give me points. All right. Let's go, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh God. These witches scare the fuck out of me, bro. Oh my God. Genuinely this is one of the scariest boss zombies in COD history. Because they take your points. If they didn't take your points, they wouldn't be that scary. But them taking your points is terrifying. Cause like, I don't want to lose points. They are honestly one of the best boss zombies in Akai history though. I think they're so fucking cool. They're like, they're up there with like the Marguas and the Panzers and stuff. All right, I gotta wait for her to come down. Wait, do I throw the, wait, hold on. Do I throw the time bomb first? And then kill the, the witch to get the perk? Or do I kill the witch first and then throw the time? I throw the time bomb first, right? Yeah, yeah, I throw it first. Okay. And then I do this. Do I grab it? And then I go back. Am I right about this? Let's see. Did we just get zapped Wait, what? Why didn't I get the perk? Wait, what? Oh, I did it Oh, I wasn't supposed to grab it, wasn't I? I forget, I don't know. I honestly forget. <laughs> I fucking forget, bro. <laughs> I did it wrong. Wait, why is the ghost lady not there anymore? What? Is she only there for like, 10 seconds, bro? Why did she leave already? You have to shoot it and then immediately go there? I don't know. Whatever. I don't need the free perk. It's not a big deal. Because I'm going to get the free perks. Any I'm going to get them anyways. I just have to come back there and five more rounds and then I'll get more. But I want to do the, the piano ghost perk thing. But you have to get the bowie knife again to do it. So, yeah, we're not going to... Not the bowie knife. The um, ballistic knife. Oh, well. Activision is scummy with the store, but stealing is stealing. Exactly, yeah, like, it's just stealing. Like, I don't know, like, I'm not really surprised at that, what happens, you know? This song is so fire, by the way. This is one of the best songs of all time. I, I love this song. This song reminds me of July 4th. 2013. I think this map came out on July 2nd, 2013, but I remember I was playing this map on the 4th of July. Good times. I don't even know the lyrics that well. Is the song not copyrighted? Nope. 
No Kevin Sherwood songs are copyrighted as far as I know. They've never copyrighted any of my videos, so no. Avenged Sevenfold songs, though, those would be copyrighted, but Kevin Sherwood never copyrighted them. Because I believe that's something the actual creator of the song has to physically do themselves. But Kevin Sherwood doesn't care. He's a really chill guy. He just doesn't give it. He's like, ah, whatever. You can do whatever you want with my music. <laughs> he doesn't care. Alright, let's hit this. Now PSG would be kind of useful with this. <laughs> Look at all those crawlers, oh my god. DSR. We got expert fusion singing before GTA, bro. I, I sing in all my streams. Oh, we got the blizzard knife again. We can do it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's go do it again. I want you to be gone. But I know you've just begun Why am I not To everything I have done Whoa! Whoa! I am running from something I'm becoming Unstoppable, and I'm coming from the something that I'm running from, becoming one. I know these lyrics better than I know a lot of things in life. Alright, hopefully that piano girl's there now. She should be. There she is. Look at her. Look at her going at it on the piano. There we go. Got my free perk. You can only get one, I think, out of her, though. I think it's the only, like, side easter egg on this map, really. I mean, everything else is kind of tied to the main easter egg. Or it's, like, just a regular game mechanic. Not really an easter egg. But that's like the only like Easter egg Easter egg. But it's a fun one. Oh damn, how did I take so much damage there? What the hell was that? What was that damage, bro? Holy crap. I thought it was KO there, wow. Right, we got a lot of perks, so let's not go down. Only perk we're missing is Vulturade. Arguably the best perk. So we'll go back to the, um... My money's still on me. No! No! Ah! Yeah, we need Vulturade. Vulturade will help us out. But I wasn't gonna say, uh... We have to go on five more rounds, so... When were we last, when we got the first perk? Was it round seven? We'll, we'll wait till 12, probably. I think 12 will be good. I found a challenge I can do in Infinite Warfare since because of variants, there's one that gives me random perks. If I get enough kills, I can only get perks from my gun. That'd be cool. I, I do remember seeing those variants, yeah. Those are cool variants. You know what's one thing that always bothered me about zombies? If you have more than six perks, it should also open up those perk slots. Because if I go down, I should be able to just buy all the perks back. I already earned those perk slots. So they should open up new perk slots, not just giving me new perks, you know? One of my only issues with the whole free perk thing, it's like, no, they should open up a perk slot as well. So if I go down, I should just be able to get all six perks, you know? It shouldn't be just giving me a free perk, it should be also opening a slot. Please, 
Yeah, next time we go back, we'll be able to pack a bunch of everything as well. I kind of want to box a couple more times, though, because I don't really know if I want to keep these guns. I kind of want to try something else. I would love the Remington revolver. I would take that in a heartbeat. Any map-specific guns would be cool. Nope. Not a map-specific gun. Alright, come this way, Leroy, because I gotta get you away from all these zombies. I love Zetsubo's free perks. The map gives you free slots if you do challenges. Yep, I like that. That's why I prefer free, free slots over free perks, because then if you go down, you can just go buy them all, you know? Like Origins, for example, you get free slots. You don't get free perks. There's also so many cho like um, places where COD Zombies maps should have thrown in free perks options, but they just didn't. Like Shadows of Evil, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to earn free perks on Shadows. Like the pods, the purple pods should be able to give you free perks. That would be great, you know? But they don't do it. Dropping a like, I will play Buried as well with your stream on. Hell yeah, Rick Tauvin's Revenge, I appreciate it. Dude, honestly, I think Voltrade's one of my favorite looking perk machines in COD history. Like, this just, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. I kind of want to use some of these traps, so I might start building some of them. But honestly, a much easier way to build them is just get the candy and just tell Leroy to build it for you. Oh, shit. Why'd I do this to myself? I should probably go pack a punch now, right? I'll go back later, I'm sure. Sometimes they come from behind, so I'm just being a little cautious. I feel like these, these, these are really easy to take out when you have a uh, uh, double tap. All right, nice. We're going to get Vulture right here. Damn, there's so many of them. What the fuck? Why is there, Yo! Why is there so many of them? Whoa. Why is there so many, bro? Good idea for us to stick together. Holy shit. Oh no, you, you can forget you can't do that. You have to go over these. Paralyzer is so cool. Oh shit. I'm probably not gonna pack a punch the um the other the uh, A94. We'll just pack a punch this. We'll pack a bunch of the paralyzer. Yeah, pack a bunch of paralyzer, and then we'll leave here and go find a different gun to replace the A94. I do really hate the pack much camo on Barry though. Like it's just an ugly cam. Like it, there's nothing special about this camo, you know. Um, I think Kevin Drew had something to do with those free perk slots because he worked on both Zetsubo and Origins. Plus he worked on Ancient Evil on that map had a trial system. True. I, I have I have faith in Kevin Drew. I, I there's some things I just disagree with him heavily on. Like he, he said outward about certain Cold War choices that he made. 
like the point system, for example, uh, his reasoning for the point system, I, I heavily disagree with. But I do think he uh, he's a passionate guy and he uh, has the capabilities of and making some good zombies maps. So looking forward to seeing what he does in the next game. This map is just so cool, man. I cannot stress that enough. Again, it really wants the game really wants me to have the ballistic knife. I really want the freaking revolver. I'm gonna grab the candy. I want him to build some trap. I literally always lose my points. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to, to be honest. I don't think I'll eat. So I, I do not blame you. All right, where's this guy? Where's he at? Is he up there? Come on. Get down. What was the most shocking movie twist you've ever seen? Well, I can't say that because then I'm going to be spoiling movies in the chat. <laughs> and I don't I don't like telling people um, like certain like twists because I feel like telling someone that a movie has a twist is is basically spoiling the movie for them. But there's there's a lot out there, I could say. Then do your stuff. Okay. I just I can't say it though. I'm gonna be spoiling movies, you know. Cold War's point system is basically just a glorified VO4. Yep, and I hate both of them. <laughs> I don't like the new point system. They need to go back. What is he gonna build me? Oh, he built the freaking turbine. That's the worst thing he could have built, bro. Come on. <laughs> he thinks that shit is stinky. That literally is the worst thing he could have built. Um, uh, what did he? What did he say? He said something along the lines of like it was uh, someone on Twitter like two years ago or something asked him about it, and I think the reason he said was because he didn't want to punish players for playing faster. So essentially, like playing through the game quicker, like going through the rounds quicker, or like you know, just generally playing the game faster, right? I understand what he's getting at, but I disagree with it because I feel like that's part of the, the fun of zombies is making that strategic decision decision of whether you want to take your time getting points, like racking up points, or just going through the rounds faster. So you're making that sacrifice by going through the rounds faster, or you could take your time shooting the zombies in the leg and doing all that. That to me is kind of part of the fun and part of the intrigue of this, this point system. And it also makes it so on higher rounds, it's a lot easier to get points in general. And also, weaker guns are actually useful. You know, there's so many reasons I prefer the old perk system, uh, point system. Mm. And it is unfortunate they decided to make that change because I'm not crazy about it. Bro, come on, really? The mist bothers you that much? Mm. I got what you want, buddy. I, I never build anything on this map. I just make him do it. It's so much easier. Don't have to memorize where any parts are. None of that. You just tell him to build it. Honestly, this church is one of my favorite rooms in zombies. I don't know what it is. There's something about this room that just looks amazing. Like the light coming in through the walls. It's like you're buried underground, but there's still some light coming through. It's so cool. And I love how the light is shining on the perk machine too.
What do you build? The head chopper? I'm gonna go put it in the spot. You guys know what spot I'm talking about. Could it kill me, right? I think it can. I forget where you're supposed to put it, like here? I'm done with this for now. Damn, look at that. I don't think that's the right spot for it, actually, but... <laughs> I don't know. It's it's chopping off heads. The new point system is broken on both ends. The old system, you could be Bill Gates and wealth early, but now you gotta get... You get no money and need more. Yeah, I don't like that because the only real way to get more money, like, to make more money is, like, you shoot in the head. So it's either headshots or just normal kills, and that's the only difference in points. I guess knifing, too, is also the same as headshots, but to me, that's just uninteresting. Like, give me some more ways to, like find like a way to get more points i liked how if i use weaker guns i'm gonna rack up more points or i can play it safer i just won't get as many points like stuff like that's just really cool about the old uh, perk system or old point system and i don't know kevin drew is just i understand what he's doing but it's not the move in my opinion i think it's actively making the weapons not as fun to use or not as unique like, remember point guns? That was like a whole term. Like, oh, this is a good point gun. There's no such thing as point guns anymore. Everything's just the same. You know? It's either powerful or it's not. But there's, there's such a large amount of guns, I feel like, in um, the older games that are like, they're not good, but they're great for points. You know what I'm talking about? Like, what's a, what's a, what's a good example of that? That's like a not good gun, but it's great for points. The CZ-75 in Black Ops 1. That's a good example. That's not that good. But it's fucking great for racking up points, though. I always loved getting it the early rounds because I can just rack up points real quick. Would I ever want to use that with the new point system? No. Hey, monkey boy. Oh, I forgot monkeys replaced the time bomb. Whoops. Not me to do that. Something tells me Treyarch might make a good Easter egg that is a blend of easy and hard. Shinobu Reborn showed me that. Shinobu Reborn was definitely an improvement in terms of difficulty, but I still felt like it was pretty easy. But yeah, I, I do hope they do something like that. I'm I'm not going to hold on to too much hope that they will because I don't want to be disappointed, but at the same time, let's, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I really hope they do something cool. I feel like we'll... There'll be a lot of talking once, uh, you know, once, like, August rolls around, we'll probably get the zombies revealed in August. But they're probably not going to tell us that much, I feel like, about zombies. They're going to keep a lot of it on the down low, I feel like. I do not have PhD currently. Damn. I just want that revolver. That's all I want right now. No. If you're gonna attack me, you better make sure you finish the job. No. I should do a video ranking all the buildables. That was not my idea, by the way. That wasn't the whole big video idea I'm talking about, but that would be a fun video to do, though. Ranking all, like, zombie, like, buildable trap weapons. I don't know. I don't know what you'd call them. Because some maps are technically not really buildables. Oh, fuck. I should have pulled out the... the paralyzer. What is that? Dude, the tombstone... Uh, uh, perma perk is insanely good. Literally, there's never been a perma perk as good as a tombstone one. Like the fact that I get to keep all my perks except for quick revive is insane. Easily the best power perk in the game. Easily. They gotta return a system like permit perks, man. It's just such a cool idea. Did I grab? Oh, I did grab it, but I probably dropped it, right? I probably dropped it on my feet. Where did I die? Right here. I don't think I'll eat it. I already lost. All right, where is Leroy? I'm on the build of something over here. 
This shit gives me PTSD from the Easter egg. <laughs> There's really so much you could do with uh, reimagining the buried, I feel like. You can keep the bullet. I do expect to see uh, the Victus reimaginings. I don't think they're gonna be remakes. They're not gonna be remasters. They're, they're gonna be fully different maps. Like 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 the BO4 Ether remakes. They're gonna be like those. Very different maps, just on the same location. But it's not gonna resemble the original map at all. Dude, where the hell is Leroy? Is he in his cage? I really hope he didn't cage himself up. Did I accidentally shoot him? He did. He he did go back in the cage, bro. Come on. What are you doing in there? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Hopefully I'll catch his ass over here eventually. I'd better find the we'll wait. We'll wait. Uh, I will say though, the Shinonuma Reborn and the Archon, they are kind of the same quality of Cold Wars Easter eggs. I'm surprised a lot of people like don't agree with that, but I feel like they are. They're the same level of depth. They don't Someone like they're a little the harder, which is why I like them a, like, a bit more. Way. And I was at least calling it an improvement, but like they're still like, I don't know. They're kind of similar. All right, big boy is finding his way here. There's so many rooms on Barry that just are so cool. Like, it's just such a good map, man. Come on, get a little closer. Take this, then do your stuff, okay? I think the only thing we haven't built yet is a subsurface resonator, right? Oh my god. Stupid like that. Ah! Yeah. Alright, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Honestly, we did enough on the map. I feel like I don't really know if I need more to play. I feel like when we get to the later maps, like BO3. BO4, there's gonna be a lot more to do because we're gonna do the Easter eggs, we're gonna do a bunch of side quests and stuff. These maps so far didn't really have enough to like get much out of. Um, should I play another game? I don't, I don't know because I, I don't have too much time to play more. And I feel like I'll have to rush through this next game, so I'm probably gonna call it there. And we'll just be next time we'll be playing Mob of the Dead and Origins. That'll be really fun. Hopefully it'll be the next couple weeks we'll do that stream and then after that we'll do Advanced Warfare will probably be one stream. BO3 I'll probably split into two streams. Infinite Warfare will be split into two streams. Um, same with World War II. BO4 definitely has to be two streams. Cold War could probably be one stream honestly. Those maps are pretty quick. Um, Vanguard as well could be one stream and then I'm not going to do an MWZ stream. <laughs> Well, maybe I will just for like, I mean, I do. I'm doing MWZ streams for the new updates anyways. So I don't know. Whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.